Welcome back to episode 12 of the Game by Thrones. Uh, kind of the episode one of the new format we're going with that Zach's going to uh, explain here for a sec. Um, we're pretty excited about it. So we're taking a new approach with uh, kind of how we're going to handle these episodes. Uh, before, we were just interviewing local athletes, local coaches. Uh, we kind of want to expand our audience a little bit. So we're going to talk more about national sports uh, to expand, you know, grab a a more pool of people to watch our content, listen to our content, <clears throat> but we still want to have a little bit of local, uh, local content in there. So the viewers that watched us before, you guys will still get a little bit, a little bit of that in there. Today we don't have a guest on this particular episode. Mm -hmm. We have a couple statements from Lake Mills coaches about the upcoming seasons. Um, in the future, we'll probably just have a little bits, little pieces of interviews with an athlete or two um, in the area or Lake Mills that will kind of suffice for our local coverage, but we want to take a more a focus to national sports, our favorite teams, uh, what's hot right now, what's trendy in the national sports uh, world. Because let's be honest, while we love our North Island Lake Mall sports, mm -hmm. we really love college and mm -hmm. NFL and pro and all that. So we, We've always been huge sports fans. Yeah. Uh, if you guys know us growing up, like it's one of our, one of our a lot of what our lives consist of, and... I guess kind of kind of segueing into what uh, what else is on our new approach. We've added a member to Game by Thrones. It's Matt. He's our brother. Um, Allegedly, he's, he's the middle child of five five kids, and he's the third of four boys that we that are in our family. So the only one that's missing now is Taylor. And I bet you a lot of you guys don't even know Taylor or have or know that he has a presence on YouTube or anything. I I no, bet no. you it's a complete joke. Yeah, Taylor Taylor's joke. not popular. Whatsoever. Taylor is the least popular kid in the family. Least amount of people. Least know amount of influence. So I'm really glad we just shouted him out right here because he needs all the clout he can get. Um, going into that, you guys have anything to add? Kind of explaining. Honestly, I just want to get talking. This is gonna be fun. Yeah. We kind of have an agenda. What we're gonna talk about? You know the what's uh, what's going on in the sports world at this moment. Uh, the main sports we're gonna focus on are basketball, football. It's and usually gonna be the current and upcoming seasons of whenever time period we're at. Yeah. So and now baseball, little Olympics. Yep. Upcoming NFL, college football, all that stuff. And we have a, I think we have a fun show for you guys today. It'll and be fun. To lead off this show, um, I came up with an idea, and Matt and Chris liked it a lot. So we're gonna do a guess that player, a uh, little game every single episode. We'll give you guys. Vague hints that will get more and more specific as we go on throughout the show. And then at the end, hopefully you guys know who it is. And you guys can tweet us the answer of who the player is on Twitter. Our uh, Twitter handle is at GameByThronesLM. You guys tweet us your guess on the correct answer of the player we're talking about. And whoever gets the correct answer first, we will retweet. And that will kind of be your guys' prize. And I guess also to add in about the new approach. Uh, this is a hobby right now, but we kind of want to make this our careers. <clears throat> our our end goal would to be to do this full-time, have you know a presence in the sports media world. So this is kind of how we're jump-starting that. And do you guys have anything to add after that? Uh, one thing I'll just say is I completely agree with you. Like This is something that's been a dream of ours we've talked about, and so I'm excited to hop on and do this. Um, look for... As we go here, bringing on people, calling them for 10 minutes here, 10 minutes there. Maybe not a full hour-long interview every week. But yeah, yeah, it might not even more be of a, a show. Zoom call. More of a show, more of a podcast, sports podcast. And yeah, we so might even mix in, we might even mix in like a YouTube live stream here and there. You guys could give us questions while we're yep. on there. So tell us what you think about that idea. And if we ever start making any money off it, obviously the quality of show is just going to we'll go up. And Absolutely. To, to go off of that, uh, at some point, we're going to start a Patreon. I know Matt knows more about that site yep. better than us. It's basically a way for you guys to, to support us. And starting off, all of the money that will get donated to that site will get put back into the show, Absolutely. at least at the start. Yep. And, yeah, hopefully we'll, uh, we'll have more information on that maybe the next episode. Uh, yeah. Get that well, started. One thing right away that we would want to upgrade eventually would be the mics and lighting, stuff like that. So, mm -hmm. yeah, it's we got a decent setup right now. We're excited, but... Obviously, things could always be better, so we're Kind excited. of branch off that. What I told you guys, Jared Feener just said, maybe we should create some shirts. Shirts and so mugs. If you that. guys, if you guys think you have an interest and maybe you want to get one, we could, well, match the It'd probably go after this design. Here. 
be Matt is actually the design, one who made so. our logo in the first place. So Speaking of which, this. we got we got to figure out here. I'm bringing the mic. We got There's only two names here. We got to add a name. We need to add a new order new flag, Chris. New flag. So no. Fine. I'm adding a little duct tape mat over there. That'd be kind of. So we're gonna do. All right. We'll add duct tape to it. That's kind of funny. Okay. All right. Mystery player. The mystery player. So we're gonna start out with very vague hints and get more specific as we go on. First hint. He was a third round pick in the NFL draft. Okay. In a not this year necessarily, just a nope. NFL draft. A NFL draft. So you guys now know the sport, and you know what round he was drafted in. Uh, well, I will update you with more hints as we go. But our first actual topic is the NBA draft. Let's go. And I think we can all agree there's a guy in particular that we were all rooting for, and yes, that sir. guy is Jalen Suggs. And the reason for that is our brother Taylor, who obviously, as we said before, has a YouTube presence pretty big in the Madden community. Uh, he went up to Minnehaha Academy, that's Jalen Suggs' high school, and actually played one-on-one against him and played pig in a three-point contest against him. And Sadly, had, there was no dunk contest. There was no dunk contest. Taylor being I the, think Taylor would have taken it home. I mean, he's an imaginary dunker, like on the dude perfect stereotype. <laughs> no, if we're so. talking, <laughs> if we're here's a, here's a hypothetical. So like, if you got Jalen Suggs down to play park ball at Lake Mills, oh does my, that, God. does that hurt Jalen Suggs? It has to, because he can fly. And why does he need to dunk on an eight foot, nine foot hoop? Taylor might have a chance. I think Jalen just it, it would be ridiculous. There'd but be no shot. he can jump so high, kind of taking away a little visibility. I still think it doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah, right. I still don't think it doesn't matter. But he's not used to the double rim, destroying your wrist. No, yeah, but shout out to the people Tough. from Lake Mills who played at the park growing up. Uh, the, the hoops yes, have sir. changed a little bit since then. They're not even the same height on each end. Nope. Mm-hmm. Um, but those were some of my favorite basketball memories. Just what a court. Park. Yeah. What a court. Legendary court. What's the court on One Tree Hill? Uh, River Court? No? Yes. River Court? We, so. we have park basketball. That's our version park of ball. River Court. Park ball. Those were some great days playing out there. But going off Jalen Suggs, he got drafted, I believe, Fifth. by the Orlando Magic. Magic. Yep. Yes. Zach and I can now proudly say we have a top five. Top five, right? He was fifth? Top five, yep. Top five NFL or NBA draft pick following us on Instagram. This we is were true. with Taylor for that video. I we took pictures. <clears throat> I took B-roll. You took I, some B-roll, I yeah. just got the shaft because I had to work. Yeah, so that was Chris fun. wasn't able to go. But Jalen Suggs, super cool guy. Um, Probably we'll one say, of the nicest guys I've ever met. Yeah, he's honestly. super legit. We'll say, though, Jalen, love you. One, but two screw things. you. You the... killed Iowa. Yes, he had like two, six threes. I didn't root for him as much in the draft because the Wolves didn't have a pick. So, mm-hmm. like, it wasn't as cool to, like, maybe be top five and get a hometown kid. Yeah. But super fun to watch. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's for sure. Uh, yeah, Jalen, uh, congrats, even though you probably won't watch this. <laughs> but uh, congrats on getting picked fifth. And, and you know what's wild? Wasn't he Mr. Football in Minnesota? He was Mr. Football. Too? I, I watched a live stream his senior year. Um, and this dude was – they had one good receiver, I think. He was a three-star QB. he just – I think it may have been four. Was it three? I think, four, was four. I think he was a four-star four QB. Was four? Okay, this four star dude QB. was like Taylor throwing on Madden, running around bo- broken plate master in real life. Like, holy crap. That's it was nuts. insane. It, his, insane. His, his he carried are, his team. Are pretty wild. So, uh, but very very talented guy right there. Now he's in the NBA. Gonna make a lot of dough. He's already transitioned a lot of his Instagram posts. Are just ads. Zach is correct. Just three star. Three star. He was okay. He was the 18th ranked dual quarterback. I totally or 15th. Okay, depending on where you know. look. Well, I guess maybe on a different side he was. Yeah, maybe he was. But but yeah, our but then our second and third favorite players in the draft, just because we knew they weren't gonna go as high, Luca Garza and Joe Wieskamp. Um, I, if you would have told me that Luca Garza got drafted maybe four months ago, if you would have told me that, I want to believe you. Because I think I everyone think would have been drafted. surprised. Yes, yeah. I was telling people, we're huge Iowa fans, by the way. I, I was telling people I would be very surprised if Luca Garza um, gets drafted and makes a roster. Just because he's not overly athletic. That's true. It's but he's super skilled. Super skilled offensively. Shoots, what, yes. 40% from three? Well, Dwayne over, Casey over. just figured that out. Yeah, Dwayne Casey, the Pistons head coach, was surprised at how well Luka Garza could shoot the three. <laughs> he obviously didn't know very much about Luka because that man shot 44%. And, and to be fair, last year. How, I mean, I know you're an NBA coach, but, like, how do you watch – how do you, like, college basketball and you don't know about Luka Garza's game? Like, this dude – Past maybe, two years. Maybe, maybe he just didn't know it translate to the NBA. I was just line. gonna maybe. say that. Maybe he didn't realize how deep. But he's or obviously how many he, took. he obviously doesn't follow Frank Garza on Twitter. 
Yeah, this. obviously not. He better now. Luca the workout videos and whatever That's gym they're posts. in, like a shed, is just doesn't doesn't even hit rim mm-hmm. half the time. Didn't he drop thirty pounds of like straight fat? Too? I think he was two sixty five. He said during the season he's like two forty five. He's now. went to a no carb diet, but I thought he added carbs back. Did he? When he got down to Pro- probably to okay. lose. I don't know. Yeah. I just saw a tweet about it. Gotcha. On real like work, cutting ethic. weight in like a fighting sport or something. Yep. But dude, I think I think he'll good do for pretty him. well to be honest. He's picked fifty two mm. overall to the, yep. uh, the Pistons. We're gonna play with Cade Cunningham. Hopefully, Luca. I know some of these second round picks. Don't. Some of them might never end up playing yeah. on an NBA court. But that's a super big step right away, especially going to a team that doesn't have a ton of talent. They have a lot of young talent, but it's not like they're just loaded with veterans who will take minutes. Um, they have Cade. They have two yeah. all rookies with Isaiah Stewart and Sadiq Bay. He was going to yep. play with Tyler Cook, and then they just yeah Tyler Cook. Him. Yeah, Iowa. Alum he played also well just got last waved. year. He did play yeah. pretty well. I think the biggest it's question with Luca is going to be how do, how does it how does he fit in defensively? Yes, like because obviously he's not going to be able to play the forward defensively, right? Mm-hmm. But no, like, correct. can he rim protect either? I don't um, know. We'll see. Like he's going to be good. I, he, I think. I don't know. Even just a few inches, like he's what is he six eleven? Mm-hmm. Yeah. If he was seven one, easy. Yeah. He yep. probably had been a top ten pick, mm-hmm. which is wild because that's two inches. Yep. Yeah. I mean, look at Jokic. He's seven foot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and he's no more not athletic fast. than Garza. He, he might even fast, be yeah. s- slower. He's uh, a guy who was right away in his career was considered awful defensively. Now I think he's about average. I think he's all right defensively now, although he has no athleticism whatsoever. But he also rebounds really well. He's insanely long arms. Yes. Uh, super, super skilled yeah. guy. We're not saying he's going to be the next Jokic, but hopefully Luka Garza can find some find a spot in the rotation and make his uh, impact. Correct. Absolutely. Then there's Joe Wieskamp, who... Uh, improved his draft stock maybe more than I've seen, I guess, or can remember of a guy who probably late, late second round, like was not going to get drafted. And I know there was talks about him maybe going where late did, first. He ended up going, I think, where 41. did he go? 41. He went to the Spurs. Yeah, his, um, I would even say like his he killed combine. The combine. No, he killed the combine. Oh he, my gosh. He had an insane vertical. They found Ooh. out that. He's knocked down from three. Well, I was just going to look that up because I didn't remember what the exact percentage was. Last year, 46.2% from three. And how many? And there was like a, a lot of There a lot was of a attempts. stretch. There yeah. was an insane, like, 15, maybe 12-game stretch where he was shooting over 50% from it three. It was unreal. Yeah, he could not miss. If Iowa had a, like, a a point guard a that could play meter, make, yeah. oh, my God. He shot, like, he shot 158 threes last year. Yeah. Dang. That's what he made. Does he have the game? Made per 73. Game? Made 73 of them. That's insane. Oh, but uh, 40 minutes, he made 3.2. Holy crap. So Wieskamp, he lit it up at the combine, had a great vertical, great shooting. And then in the in the games themselves, they have scrimmages <clears throat> at the summer or at the combine. Get guys get guys looks, you know, playing an actual game instead of just drills. And I think he I want to say he had like 26 and 10 one game. He did. He did. And he was an unreal, I didn't watch unreal. it, but according to the tweets, like the Iowa beat writers and stuff I follow. They claim, and you know, in those games, guys are you know pl- kind of playing for playing themselves, themselves. want to yep. get points. Yep. They didn't pass him the ball sometimes. That's, he could I, have had mid thirties. I remember Jordan Bohannon tweeting like, "Pass Wheezy the ball" or something during that scrimmage, and yeah. he still ended up at twenty six. Mm-hmm. Kind of backtracking a sec. Wild. You said, uh, "Was it Matt said if he would have had a guy that to give him the ball point guard wise?" Yeah, I think last year he was just a team that was set up that had to be that way. Shooters. Okay, guys that were smart. We didn't have – I mean, we had Toussaint, but he's the backup. Like, I think that's just – they were all upperclassmen. I think that was the year where if everything worked perfect, you make a big run. Mm-hmm. And we ran into a – Ran a into off. the worst matchup oh, an Iowa team yes. could have. The worst. A big athletic team. Big that athletic – that can shoot. Yes. Chris Duarte, he, I think he got drafted by the – Early. Right, um, mm. Warriors thirteenth. No, yeah. was it? Was it? No, I know Warriors are looking Pacers. at Pacers. That's uh, Pacers fourteenth. Shout out, um, Kendrick Perkins, Moses Moody. Moses Moody. I, I love Moses a, Moody. No, no, no. Is it? It's a. There's a I know it's a Kendrick a, Perkins. Yeah, yeah. Moody Moses. Moody, Moody, Moody Moses. Moody. I, I, I have to. You have to wonder at, at this point. Like a sane person has to wonder: Is this guy doing it on purpose? Is he doing? I actually this? love Kendrick Perkins. I don't. Agree <laughs> the with amount all of takes crazy. He is hilarious. Is it? Is it? Is it an act though? That is an honest question. There's is no he, way. Is he kind act. of is like he a playing Charles it Barkley? up? I don't know if. I think Charles Barkley takes pride in kind of being the dumb guy, but I don't think he tries to be. Okay. If that makes sense. 
It does. It does. But uh, Chris Duarte, I saw a stat. I believe he's older than Devin Booker. He is. He's like 24. He's 24. Wow. And Devin Booker's 24. I don't know if he's That's... older, but at least they're the same age. No, hold on. This same is this isn't like year older. this isn't like the NFL where like every rookie's 21. Every rookie in the, like top lottery picks are usually anywhere from 18 to 20. Mm-hmm. Like this dude's 24. That's what I saw. Can I saw it on Twitter, up? so don't quote me on it. That is insane if um, that's true. That actually really sucks. That's six. That's like five, six years of your career. Because I mean, gone. That's still in, that. That's insane that he got picked 13th when he's 24 At that years old, old. Yeah. Is he 24? Chris is searching he it was, up here. He is 24. He's he born 24. in 94. Holy crap. Good old Wikipedia. <laughs> Holy crap. He must the have had a wild college unreliable source ride. of all time. But every you single said teacher 24. We thought 24. It says 24. We yeah. Right. So 24. Um, right. Also the surprise of probably the first round, at least from the vibe that I was getting from people on Twitter, on YouTube, was Joshua Pri- Primo? Or was it Primo? I think it's Primo. Yeah, I think did it's he much. even so start for that Bama team? I don't think he I did. I don't recognize was he the freshman? His name a whole lot. I don't know. I don't remember him. I you know loved the Alabama team. I loved Alabama and LSU during the tournament. You got Herb Jones. You got Petty. Who are the big guys there? Uh, Herb Jones, kind of the big guys. One well, big just guys. like uh, Javon better Quinterly. players. But Javon Quinterly. Quinterly didn't start. Um, they had like five solid dudes. No, they Joshua had Moody team, yeah. is a producer, I guess. Uh, oh, why did I type in Joshua Moody? Moody? You guys are Joshua you guys are Moody. Talking, you guys are talking. Do not names. We didn't even say Moses Moody. Moody like that. Moses. I Moody. know. I know. You guys are talking names, and I mixed them. Um, up. Also, a, maybe a great fit, or maybe it's an awful fit. I don't know. The Nets drafting Cam Thomas. I was going to say that. I was listening that. to the, some stuff about him. Watching him, you know, the guy's a bucket, but he was a freshman. Like, apparently, just um, off of pure. Uh, basketball standpoint, the guy just doesn't pass the ball at all. Really? Like, it just refuses to pass. It doesn't play defense. They, Can you imagine how that's going to go over in an NBA locker room if he continues to do that? That's what they're saying, though, but, like, maybe the Nets is a perfect fit for him. because it's That's true. Like, I mean, you're not going to... He started, yeah. like, two-thirds of the game. Kyrie, if Tyre, the Kyrie and Kyrie's out, James Harden. Um, as, a, yeah. as an Illinois hater, I'm an Iowa fan, obviously, like we've already said, we hated Illinois this past year. Io Sumo, I really like his game, but him going to the Bulls is kind of fun. Stays in Chicago, stays in Illinois. Yeah. Um, that could be pretty. Like the Bulls just made a bunch of moves with a they, bunch. Marta Rosen, Lonzo Ball. Who and else did they get? Vucevic in their starting lineup. He, they got him towards the end of the year. Levine and Patrick Williams. That's their starting five. Yeah. Lonzo and they're Ball, probably Levine. trading Kobe White, getting something for him. If not, he's a six. If they man. don't. That's yeah, exactly. He's not. He's a six man. No, they were aggressive. In this free agency, for right out the gate, they did not wait. Um, it makes kind of makes you wonder though too. Right once, right once you're eligible to like start talks and sign people, like three minutes in, there's already deals. Oh, it's oh, gotta so be. how does that work? How does that work? Yeah, if you're no. not even supposed to be talking. I, the amount of tampering, I wonder, page. that goes in. Like, yeah, it's crazy. But one guy I wanted to highlight. I don't know if you guys know this guy. You would if you followed okay. NCAA tournament. Okay. Miles McBride. Point guard West for West Virginia. Virginia. Yeah. This dude, he's a dog. Like he's so, he's just a solid basketball player. I'm excited for him. I mean, I don't know what the fit with the Thunder is going to look like with um, SGA and everybody. He just but signed a big deal too. SGA yeah. did, yeah. And, and the Thunder just bought out Kemba Walker, right? Did you see that? Yes, because uh, he's going to the Knicks. He's going to the Knicks. Yeah. Dang. So they just got picks for nothing. I don't. A little bit of dead Thunder, cap space. I get it, but like. Those at what point do you stuff? just keep re-rolling yeah. and like you never? Those of you you're gonna waste that his career. Kemba Walker may have provided one of the best game winners of all time. The step yeah. back in the, in the Cardiac garden Kemba? against the Pittsburgh big. I don't, I don't remember, remember that guy's name, McGee. but McGee or McGee. something. Yeah, I, I actually want to bet good. in college. Uh, Jason, Jason Murray tried telling me that was Javale McGee. I said no. <laughs> no. It was a random <laughs> no. McGee. No. He's like, no, I, I bet you it's Javale McGee. I bet you. I was like, I was like ten bucks. We shook on it in the atrium. Oh I looked gosh. it up. It's not JaVale McGee. It's no. some oh my gosh. light-skinned McGee it's with not short even, dreads. Yes. And a little goatee. Like yes. I remember him. And yep. he, he was thick. He was thicker. And just yeah. gets and definitely cool. Wasn't the move dropped. like a – it was almost like a double step back. Like he tried mm-hmm. to do one, and then he really hit the last one. Yeah, it was like one. Yeah. boom, yep. and he reset, and then he broke his ankle. so far back. Yes. Yeah, that was, that was insane. And then they go on to win a national title. Was that the they di- didn't lose a tournament game? Were they won the, the Maui Invitational earlier that year too. They, they struggled the during the, the regular East, season. Yeah. Won the Big East tournament. Were those they, the days they, they where three seed? I think that. that year. Well, because they won. Was it the that Big UConn East? team yeah. that had to win like five games in five days in the yes. Big East tournament? Yep. Because that they played themselves into a three seed. They were yeah. not going to be even anywhere close. They had that. Jeremy Lamb, Kemba, uh, Young, Shabazz, Napier. Mm-hmm. Um, 
Dang, they did have Shabazz. Right? Mm-hmm. Really young. And they, I want to say that they had a big guy like Anawaku or something. Yeah. Like, kind of like, I think he was big. They like did have a big guy, yeah. But yeah, uh, that team was so fun to watch. Uh, one, definitely one of the most legendary runs by a, by a single player and a team who necessarily didn't have all the talent in the world. Yep. Um, what, Alex Oriaki started Oriaki. at center, Tyler mm-hmm. Olander at forward, and Roscoe Smith at forward. Yeah, I don't oh, remember Oh, that Butler team was in the title with Shelvin Mack. Yeah. The year yeah. after, Gordon year after they lost. Matt uh, Howard Duke. is still there. Yeah. Dang. Yeah. Okay, one thing I will say, though, back to the NBA they draft. They handled them, too, Connecticut did. They, they did. It wasn't that close. But one thing about the NBA draft before we move on is, um, I mean, it would be just ma- it would be game by thrones malpractice if we didn't bring up Jason Preston. Hold up. Hold up. We're not even through the NBA draft topic yet. He's going to come up. Just wait. I'm just making sure. Just wait. I'm just making sure just we don't wait. move on from that. Uh, Jason Preston. The dude's our boy. The, he has one of the most impressive stories. Should, should we just say the story on here for yes. people that don't know? So yep. Jason Preston from Ohio University. I think he had a solid freshman year, sophomore year, had like blew up, and then this past junior year, I think he averaged 16 a game and seven assists, yep. that type of thing. Um, Upset Virginia. They he almost single handedly beat Illinois at the start of the year at Illinois. I think they ended up losing yep. by six points, but they were leading late in that game. They beat Virginia, lost to I cannot remember in the second round. Who did they but they could not make a to? thing. So Jason Preston, in high school, this man was six foot, I think six foot. Didn't or averaged two a game as a senior in high school. There's an AAU tournament coming up. His his buddy gets him to come in and fill in and play for him. He goes, plays pretty well, and a college coach says, "Hey, you should go to a prep school." Goes to a prep school after his senior year. Graduates after his, goes yep, to a prep after school. his senior year of high school. Goes to a prep school. Plays on the C team. There's uh, I think it's A through D for teams. Plays on the C team. Plays pretty well. Goes up to the B team. Still playing really well. Goes up to the A team. You know, this is the guys that he's playing with, really good players. And for, I guess, a weekend, he asked to go back down to the C team, and he makes a highlight video out of a handful of games on the C team, puts it on Twitter, and gets an offer from Ohio University. Wild. Playing on the C team. They say it's like playing at the rec with your buddies. They say that's what the level of C team is. Yeah. And not only does he get the offer, but he I think he ends up growing four more inches. He's like 6'4", six, 6'5". Six, mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, grows and becomes an amazing college player after averaging two a game as a senior in high school. Wild, that is absolutely insane. Skip Bayless insane. number senior year and then D one offer. And also, I think they mentioned <laughs> on the Illinois or when the announcer first told the story when they're playing against Illinois. He also his dad wasn't in the picture and his mom died. I'm pretty think, sure his mom point. passed. And yeah, his aunt lives in Jamaica, so he lives he lived with a friend. In their it's family. the um, it was the double sleeve guy. Right? Really? No, I, in high school. Okay. Oh, in, in high, high school. school. Okay, right. yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, Jason Preston, amazing story. That was our guy. I, I, that was. I think me and you both tweeted after the Illinois, after the Illinois game. Like, watch out for this guy. Yes. The tournament, and they yep. ended up upsetting Virginia. <coughs> I yeah, that was uh, they lost awesome to game. Creighton. Creighton. That's right. They could not make a shot. Jason Preston is like an off-brand Lam- Lamelo Ball. Yes. Exactly. And he yeah. kind of looks like it. Yeah. Yep. Uh, he just plays, he plays at such a more slower pace, it's, but he definitely plays like him, yeah. It's unbelievable. He's a pretty mm-hmm. good shooter, can get to the rim, and his playmaking is insane. So watch out for him. He got drafted by – It's he got traded to – Clippers. What was it? Officially traded to the Clippers, yep. it says. He got drafted by the Magic, traded to the Clippers. Yeah. Yeah. The, Jason he Preston, got, if you want a guy to root for in this rookie mm-hmm. draft, root for him. He um, averaged amazing story. 15 and 7. 15 and 7. He didn't and, really and, uh, shoot also, that much also, though. Also, he was injured for part of the year. So they had a bad record. He only know? played and 20 games. Him, yeah. He yep. missed games and they were like they were not good without him. No. Like they're, they're under awful. 500. In a subpar Insane conference. passer. Anyways, last part of the NBA draft topic. So this is what we're going to call like the Giannis Jokic pick. So Giannis would be late lottery, Jokic would be second round. Yeah, so a, a late lottery, so like mid teens to second round pick in this year's draft who we see maybe could end up being like an MVP or a, uh, a first team all pro mm-hmm. someday, something like that. Mm-hmm. I have three guys circled. I didn't do any research, just off of what I saw. Either. Do you want me to go first? You can go first. Oh boy. Okay. You, can I say my three that I've circled and I'll pick one? Yeah, sure. All right. So, first one, like I said, you brought it up, Jason Preston. <laughs> okay. Yep. Second one, Io Donsumu. Yep. 
Third one, James Book Knight. It's a little early. I was in the thinking, early. I was thinking about Book it, yeah. Knight. So I don't know if that's a cop out because he was drafted eleventh. Well, I mean, but Giannis was the lottery too. Dude gets buckets. But Giannis yeah, was well, the Giannis is the lottery, so that's yeah. cool. right, right, right. It's not like it was top. That's not a cop out. But. All right, I'm gonna go James right. Book Knight from UConn then. I like the Book Knight okay. hit. Can't pick. play defense with a lick, but he'll score the ball. He plus he's on the Melo's team, so he's buckets. gonna run, play the two, mm-hmm. maybe back up two mm-hmm. right away. Okay, um, I'm not gonna have three options because I just don't I don't know enough about some of these later round guys, and it's not like there's a guy from Europe like Jokic where it's a little more of an unknown. No. Yeah. Um, but here's what I will say: I will say, my boy Moses Moody. I was gonna. Think this dude too. was, I think, a top three, top five recruit coming out of high school, mm-hmm. and for some reason in the NCAA tournament, he just didn't really have it fully. Um, but the, the way he plays, I think he's six six, uh, handles the ball well, can shoot, um, and he wiry. just he seems to be the type of guy that can score well in the NBA. And obviously, he's going to have Stephen Curry um, on his team. I mean, the Warriors are looking real Scary. good after get this back. draft and everything here. And, and people so people are still thinking those two rookies could be used as trade pieces to okay. move them because they're yeah. both uh, highly Kaminga highly and him, rated yeah. rookies. That is true. But I'm going to go with Moses Moody. Um, this is just going to be. I'm not saying he's going to end up being an MVP, but I think he could get buckets in NBA. And although I th- – oh, no, he got, dra- he got traded to the Bucks. He got drafted by the Pacers, 54th overall. <sighs> traded to the Bucks. It's Sandro Mam- Mamukashvili. Who the heck is that? It's from Seton Hall. He's yes. a bucket. He's a bucket. He okay. Chris he is. would bet he is. With C- or against Every, Seton Hall, and this guy would just kill us. Oh so we started gosh. betting with him, and he didn't have a great team around him. Yep. But – uh. The guy's a bucket. He's a lefty. He's like six nine. Okay. And Mamukish. Where's like I'm where, I don't know. Where's like pink shoes? What he, a beast. He's kind of he's a dog. So him going to the Bucks, you know, he might not get a whole lot of time right away. But I think he could find he could cement himself in the league as a late second round pick, which is yeah. not common. Yep. Yeah. So that that kind of does it for our That's uh, right. NBA draft coverage. We're gonna move on to the MLB trade deadline, which just happened last week. Now we will say. Being all of us are Twins fans, so at least for me, I can't watch the Twins. It's not year. fun. Watch them, it's, yeah. not, uh, it's not fun at all. The only thing, and we'll get to it later, the only thing they've done right so far is not trade Byron Bucks. Mm-hmm. I know he gets hurt all the time. Fine. But you know if you trade him, he's going to be like a first ballot Hall of Famer. But before we get Guaranteed. to that, before we get yep. to that, we're going to talk about the NL West because I think it is the most competitive division Keep going. In many years I, that I can remember in baseball, yeah, they have the it's... Los Angeles Dodgers who won the title last year. And we'll get to their trades. They have the San Diego Padres, who are quite possibly the most fun team in the MLB to watch. And then they have the San Francisco Giants, who are expected to be a middle of the road team. Well, most people but... can't even name probably three players on that team. Mm-hmm. And they have older guys. Um, Buster Cole, that's it. Brandon Crawford. Brandon Crawford. And I think they're they do Gossman. Have, well, they have Chris, they have the pitcher. Yeah, no. no, yeah, I don't know. We just know their names because they're relevant now. Yes, yeah, Shrimsky we did not know still, before. Um, but they are a very, very good team. I think they have the best record in baseball. I want to say they have the best record in the MLB. They are filled with. They might not have the most talent, there. but they are playing amazing. Which is insane because it's something. Plato and their starting rotation. It's something we talked about, but like, can you imagine these three teams' records if they didn't all play in the same division against yeah. each other? Like I don't I don't know how many times you play your own division opponents, but I mean isn't the NL West it doesn't have four teams does it? Isn't it the one division that only Giants, has four? Dodgers, Padres, or do they have five now? I'm trying to think. I thought there was a team. Giants, there was Dodgers. one team in the one division in the MLB that only had four. I thought it was NL West. They Diamondbacks, Diamondbacks, Rockies are five. five. Okay, maybe they readjusted them then, but still like. Giants, I thought it was the old AL Giants West. are still three was, and so a the half. Astros the came in. Then the Astros yep. came in. Giants yep. are still three and a half up on the Dodgers. Giants, dude, they they beat. I don't know if they swept That's the Dodgers last wild. week. Wild, but they won a ton of comeback wins against the Dodgers. Who I bet on the Dodgers a lot. Let's and talk about their trade the, deadline. Hold on, the Padres are sixty-two and forty-eight and are seven games back in their own division. Yeah, it's a, it's and insane. Ta- man. Tatis just got just hurt. got hurt. Uh, they Gosh. just picked up Ad- Adam Frazier from the Pirates, who I think was leading the MLB in average at one point. I don't think he is now. I think he leads in hits and other uh, stats like that. But it's kind of a weird pickup for them because they already had an infield of 
Machado, Tatis, Cronenworth, who has played amazing this year, and Hosmer. And Adam Frazier is a second baseman. So they, I think they've been playing him in left when oh, they've all yeah. been healthy. Yeah. 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 Um, so that's interesting. an interesting pickup. What else do we have? Dodgers got Scherzer and Trey Turner from the Nationals. Nationals just sold everybody. But if you Soto, don't know baseball, Scherzer getting up there in age. Yeah. Still, still really just been good. Dom- still really good. dominant. He pitcher. was the dominant. number one pitcher when the Nationals won the title. I don't want to speak in hyperbole, but he might be this generation's like Nolan Ryan. Pitches for a long time. You just can ride around. him. It's like your classic. Psycho, you ride him like he dog, can two different eye colors. Two psycho. different eye colors. Psycho. He, he can pitch complete games colors. easy. Got, had a broken nose and pitched after bunting and bat, uh, batting. Oh practice. my Yeah, gosh. well, that's the embarrassing <laughs> part. Um, and Trey Turner. Trey Turner is one of the young, uh, good shortstops. Super fast. Insanely fast. Hitting really well. Good fielder. Yeah. Um, yeah. So basically, the Nationals is just the saying, rich got richer. We're, we're keeping everything, but let's Soto, put it this way: I don't sorry, know what the scenario was, Soto. but Mookie Best was playing second base. The yep. Other night. The other night for the Dodgers, he plays outfield. Yeah, I don't even know what Insane. their outfield would have looked like. It would have been Bellinger, Chris Taylor, and I don't know who the last outfield. I didn't. That's the other thing: is Bellinger isn't game. even playing well this year. He's Bellinger been hurt, and awful. he has an awful average. Yeah. He is playing terribly when he's been playing this year, and. The, the thing is, they don't even have Bauer right now with all yeah, that they don't. scandal. Yep. I uh, forgot about that. They don't have Bauer right now. Dustin May, I believe, and is still they hurt. And they just have Albert Pujols to pinch hit whenever. To pinch hit whenever. He had yes. an RBI base hit when we were watching them the other yes. night. Yes. Uh, so, yeah, that, that I I would division. be, with with what they've done and Tatis being out, I wouldn't be surprised if they won the NL West at this point. Yeah. It's, Potter is still yeah. very good. Yeah. It's, and the Giants. They're all going to make oh, – wait. How does that work? The two wild card teams will play each other, right? And they'll play For the, the one top game. seed. Yes. So God, they could be. The, so these three teams can't even. So I mean, they could. That. Only Padres, Dodgers could play, and, and then yeah, they, they win and go play the Giants. Yeah. So the after the play, in, the the so play in wild card game, the stakes the stakes for this division round, are insane. One out of three teams left. Yes. If it stays, which is awful. That sucks for Major League Baseball. Yes. Sucks. Oh my god! It's insane, man. That NL West is an absolute dogfight. But then moving um, on to on the opposite of the NL West, the Chicago Cubs. Chicago Cubs. Uh, I'm assuming a lot of people in this area are Chicago Cubs fans. But all you of can't a sudden, be mad because you got your World Series. Hey, right. did. hey, hey! A lot of these Cubs fans just came out of the woodwork after two thousand in 2016 when they were actually really good. Now they're just supposed Cubs fans. They were yeah. probably Yankees fans before that. Probably. probably. But the Cubs, they are. I do feel for him. Though. How many? How many of the guys are still on the team from 2016? Is it none? Um, There's a more Hay- Hayward. Coach. Maybe was Hayward there? Ross is Wilson Contreras he played, still there? But now he's coaching. That's true. Um, <laughs> I don't. But, I honestly don't. So know. they traded Javier Baez to the Mets. Mets yep. Chris Bryant to the Giants. Giants. And then Rizzo, Rizzo the to the Yankees. Yankees. Yep. Rizzo has hit three bombs already with the Yankees. They, Baez they had a bomb won. in his first game. They all the, had a home run in their first, first game. game. Baez had an insane – or I think Baez hit another home run last night. So he has two. He did. He had the tie. Baez also had an insane slide. That slide was to wild. To dodge the tag. That was like a little, a little League slide. I don't know. I've never understood how – Somebody can think that fast to stop momentum on one half. It's of your something body you have to do. It's something that you just have to th- like instinctive pre predetermined. You're doing it right, right. Um, but but that's the Tatis Baez that style of player. Yeah, that's 100%. what we need in MLB baseball. 100%. Super Absolutely. exciting. They just make plays that you would never expect. Like okay, he's obviously out, and then somehow he's safe. I don't know how to explain it, but it's just it's. A cool slide is one of the most exciting plays in baseball. And that sounds Absolutely. really boring to say, but go oh, and but watch some slide highlights. It's fun. Of people dodging yep. tags, and it is amazing. Mm-hmm. There's a really cool Rizzo one from year. I think it's Rizzo from years back. He's sliding feet first at third. He's going to be out by a mile. He pulls his legs back, so the guy tries to tag his upper body, and then he slides his legs back in. Oh, my god! Insane. Um, That's wild. The... The Cubs, if you guys follow Barstool, big cat, big Cubs fan. Yeah, he just <laughs> after Bryant was traded because he was the last one of the three, wasn't he? And then he hit a home run. He just goes, "I hate my life." Yeah, <laughs> I think there's another choice word in there, but yeah, okay, he just it couldn't happen. So a question on on that core for the Cubs because obviously that's the core that won the World Series and everything. Like obviously they won a World Series, but is there a is there a argument to be made that they almost underperformed their expectations? Yeah, together? because they were supposed to. 
There's supposed to be a awful. dynasty. Yeah. Weren't they yeah. awful last year too? With these, yeah, guys? when's the last time they were good? good? Yeah, they weren't. With Chris Bryant, I think, struggled last year. He was really good. Baez has struggled too. Mm-hmm. It's just and so yeah. they had that World Series win, which obviously I will take that with my t- with our Twins any day. But still, it's like I just want to see one in 2014, 2015. You were thinking this Cubs team is Maybe set up. For a I long feel time. like there are a lot of talks in sports where it's like this. This could be a dynasty for many years, and then it always ends. Mm-hmm. Way sooner than you think. It almost makes you appreciate the true dynasties, like the Patriots, the I Warriors. Mean, even the Warriors, but the Warriors, the Warriors ended, the and dynasty. now they're kind of back. That is true. Which I mean, the Kevin Durant thing kind of skews things because they yes. didn't really need him to be a dynasty, and well, it makes me. They, sad. They, they, uh, Draymond Green cried in the parking lot they're, to get the second best player in the world. <laughs> yes, <laughs> because they beat the him. Warriors. When you when I think of dynasty, I mean, I almost think it's got to be almost eight, nine, double digit years. The Warriors don't even quite make that for me, but. For five or six years, it's a foregone conclusion that they're going correct. to the finals. Yes. And, then, yes. and then, if you want to talk, I mean, there is individual dynasties like LeBron James, where any team he goes that to, is he true. Just, this is his own. Di- does that does that count? It should. Because nobody and nobody slander. Straight? Nobody slander what nine the Lakers like are doing that, because like half the guys they're getting are past their prime. Except I'm not Russell. a huge fan. These two love. I, I like. I do like LeBron, here's, but I'm a little. I don't more, know if I can use the term, okay. but I'm going to do it. Okay. I'm a Bron sexual. I love LeBron. James. These two both okay. are. I okay, love LeBron. James. You will get the balance out here difference. with LeBron here. Here's, I do love him. I do love him. Okay, here's my difference. In the NBA, you have a salary cap. Okay, now you can go over it and pay the tax, whatever. It's a soft cap. MLB, you can pay whatever you want. That's why I don't like the Yankees and Dodgers because mm-hmm. yeah. the Dodgers are paying like 290 yep. million right now. They're like 80 million over, more than the next. Over, team. Yes. Yeah, it's, yeah. The it's NBA, fun. at least you have to follow some sort of line. Yeah. If you can make it work within that line, by all means. Yeah. I, I'm not now, mad at the gonna... Warriors for making that play with Kevin Durant. I'm more mad at Kevin Durant than Correct. after you blow and a 3-1 lead against them that you'd you be to willing to go play with them. And yep. you should have lost game one. Yeah. You should have lost game one. Shout out Jordan Clarkson, who's now the sixth man of the year. Shout out Jordan Clarkson for what? And Jarris. Well, he missed the free throw. That was George Hill. George Hill. My George man. Hill. There we go. And George Jarris Hill. Smith. Good free throw shooter. Missed one of them. Jarris Smith. Okay, but I, I hate. The, oh, but Ann George Hill was like a top three point shooter in the NBA. Actually. How did I don't know how we ended up coming back to the NBA, but Whatever. dynasties, uh, dynasties. LeBron, I hate people that uh, there was a clip, the, you know the uh, no stop clip of them after Jarrett Smith made that mistake, them getting ready for OT. LeBron, not the best body language, but people were just ripping. Wow, this is what a true leader does, man. This guy, this guy ain't no true leader. Why? What he doesn't even care about his team. This man just dropped 51, 8, and 8 and, and had watched, a teammate and the, and the, the forget dude. the score in game one of the not, NBA Finals against the best team. Against the best team ever. That's not what I was just, about to say. Not just forget the score. Dude gets the rebound and pulls it all the way out to half court, and LeBron's still wide open. Yeah. And he's going like this. Yeah. Yes. Screaming at him. And that's where the picture <laughs> – I don't know if it was that game where the Jazz He looked picture. dazed. Yes. No, where he's like – yeah, and then just LeBron's like this. That was a meme right? even before that. I love that. And it even added to it after it. But anyways, I don't know how we got Dang, back man. to that. But yeah, dynasties. It was dynasties. If we want to go opposite of dynasty, we're going to talk about Oh, Cubs stuff. also got rid of Kimbrel too. Oh, yeah, to the crosstown rival White Sox. Mm-hmm. So now they White have two Sox good closers. Are be good, even though they, anytime, They've been struggling. Anytime they play the White Royals, White Sox have been struggling. Yeah, man. But anyways, Wait, opposite of dynasty. Minnesota Twins. Minnesota Twins. I can't um, even claim the, the last World Series because I was born the year after. What, what's the What's the stat? I mean, I know uh, Score North talks maybe about it all the, the time, you're but the Twins curse. It's maybe you are. You're the I'm twins the Twins. Curse. Ever since you're you the came twins into the world, curse. Let's see. Actually, it'd be interesting. Were they good in 1992? Okay. Were they good the first before the All Star break in 1992? Because yeah, you're born around All Star break. So as he's looking that up, the Twins. What's kind of wild is that the team might not seem very good, which they aren't as a whole. But the hitting stats, one of the better hitting teams they, in the I, league. I have an insane stat for that. One of the Keep better going. hitting teams in the league. If they could pitch a, a lick. Yes. At all. And the thing is, we had Barrios. He's our best starting pitcher by far this, this year. Just got rid of him to the Blue Jays. But the bullpen is so god-awful. Colome, the guy we picked up from the White Sox from this past year, is terrible. He was supposed he to be a beast awful. closer or uh, oh. setup man. Taylor Rogers has been all right. Yes. He's blown a couple of really bad saves this year. Um, Robles, who we picked up in free agency, terrible. J.A. Haas yes. started the year all uh, full. Ended up being terrible. Matt Shoemaker has like a minus two point something war, it's so which is incredibly bad, hard dude. to do. War so is wins bad. above replacement. He, he's gone it's, now, though. He's released. I know, I know. It's just but, uh, 
War is the wins above replacement. It's kind of the the standard for judging a person's worth. It's kind of the what everybody uses to, I don't know, regardless of position, pitchers. Worth, like value. Yeah. and Which Byron Buxton still has the best war on the Twins, on the team, and he's played in 70-some games. Jorge Polanco has been playing super, super, super well lately. He's still like .3 behind Byron Buxton. He's played 72 more games. It's insane. And I found the, I found the tweet. Okay. Are you guys ready to have your minds blown? Oh, is it the yeah. five runs thing? Yes. Yeah. The Minnesota Twins are now 3-43 and 43 when allowing more than five runs. Their record when allowing five runs or fewer is 42-20. and 20. And, Zach, jump in on that, how, what we talked about last night. I was Here's my theory on that. If we had better pitching, obviously giving up five runs or below, I wouldn't say that's amazing in the MLB. Like, giving up five runs is still hard to um, – win a game with when you're giving up five runs but with that record was it 42 and 20 yep if we have better pitching obviously there's gonna be more games where we give up five or fewer runs there's gonna be more games where we give up five or fewer runs but i also think that record improves because yes. a game where you give up three you might only give up one yep so everything's moving down so if you lose that theoretically if you lose that initial game three to two then you're winning that game two to one yes is what you're saying theoretically the and point out. is, our hitting is not the issue. No, and you want to know. And we just Donaldson's been out forever. Donaldson Ruxin's got hot. been out forever. Kepler was out for a while. Garver, Arise okay, I just saw a Garver while. stat too. Luis Arise is fifth if, in the AL if he would qualify. I if think he he's would, just yeah. Below. He's about three oh seven. Here's another one. Mitch Garver has averaged a home run in in every eleven at bat, eleven point six at bat very, since very, 2019. Very Second best in the major leagues behind only Mike Trout since that time. Which is in eleven point two. Uh, and this and this guy almost was not able to have kids. He burst anymore. <laughs> what, what was did he <laughs> bruise a testicle? <laughs> bruise a testicle. Bruise I thought it was ruptured. For sure. said. I thought he had to have surgery oh on it or something. Oh my gosh. Shout oh. out Alex Grunov. He once had a bruised testicle in high school. <laughs> Al. Does Al watch this? I feel bad. But yeah, Al, Al, Al watches. Al, Al watches. Okay. Al watches. <laughs> Come on now. I remember he, he, I think it was a JV game he was catching <laughs> early in high school, and he left during the JV game. Oh, no. I don't blame him. I do not blame That's him. That's got to be one of the scariest Shout feelings in your Jackson. life, especially if you haven't had kids yet as a high schooler. Oh, my gosh. I remember Lincoln Beamer, in, when they were in midgets, I remember they were playing Pine, and Jeff Steele hit a rocket at him, and I remember he got hit Dude, in Nards. Speaking of that, while he's looking that up, wasn't Pine, like, when you were younger, wasn't Pine just an excuse for the coach just to take out some steam on you by just <laughs> ripping much. ground balls at 12-year-olds? When, when we were with Jeff Steele, he would start it out pretty easy. But then yeah. when he get down to the last three, he They, is they relished. Hard. They Ace. Coaches relished in hitting that ball as hard as they possibly yeah. could at the end. But Pine was a fun game. It was competitive. It was it All I find A little bit scary because you're like, can this come up and hit All I find is severe groin contusion. So bruise. It's about the bruise. Well, okay. Yeah. Didn't he have to have like surgery on it though? Yes, he did. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. So, so twins, <gasps> twins break down. Nineteen ninety-two. So leading up to July eighth, I clicked on July eighth. They were in first in their division on July eighth with a six seventy no something win percentage. They ended up second overall, but after July, the win percentage went down like ten percent. They ended with a five fifty six and ended up second in the division. You so once I was born, you are the curse. Are they went from first, second in the ML or AL overall to ending I don't even know. You are the twins. Can, can I can I say something on that? First. I'm the twins killer. Do you guys obviously we're all aware of the twins playoff wind drought? Um Speaking of that, I think it's since 2004 is the last time we won a playoff game with yeah. the Doug Mankiewicz, Tory Hunter. It was Moneyball, wasn't it? Johan. We Moneyball? We won one game, didn't we? Was it 2002? Was, was it 2002 or 2004? Look it up. Um, I think it's But it's here's what I will say. The Twins have lost 18 consecutive playoff games. That is the longest playoff losing streak in North American professional sports history. And so everyone's saying, and this is honestly, where, I'm gonna I'm gonna like modify a quote from Little Big League. It's probably the worst streak north of the equator ever. North of the equator. Remember the whole east and west of the Mason Dixon line. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. no, it's, it's north of the equator. Center. It's awful, and that's why everyone last year that was trying to tell tell Twins fans, hey, don't get too upset about this Astros thing. Let's just be glad they're making the playoffs. No. Like, holy crap, this team was supposed to be good, and who knows what will happen going forward. But at the very least, like, 
this is not the team that we thought. This is not what we thought was going to happen with this core. And who knows? I mean, thankfully we kept Buxton. No, no, no. no. But who knows what's going to happen now? Two thousand two is the last game they won. Two thousand two is the last series they won. Yeah. So the eighteen losses is not a series thing. That's just straight up games. We haven't Um, won a game in seventeen years. I think it's important to note with the Brios trade. We got. I can't remember what the second player. It's a hyphen name. It's a hyphen name. I can't remember the name. He was supposed to be. Like the main guy in a trade, and we'd get like almost a throw-in prospect. But we no. ended up getting Austin shout Martin. out Levine. Ended up getting Austin Martin, who Blue Jays fans on Twitter, Blue Jays media, they were shocked that they ended up putting him in the trade. So the Twins really? actually got Simeon a Woods great, Richardson. Twins got a great, great haul in that dra- or in that trade for Barrios. It, so at least they did that right. Yeah, Austin and, Martin. The Austin Martin guy just had a walk-off hit in the. Minors the other night. Okay. Last well, night. Do you know what? Two strikes. How, how ready are these guys? Do we know? This Austin we Martin guy just got drafted last year. I think he's in okay. Because so like, I, I did see a tweet that was the Twins now are tied for the most amount of prospects in the top 100 Correct. in the major leagues. Because they're both top after 100 after these trades. Guys. And then we got someone someone in the top 100 for Nelson Cruz too, didn't we? I can't remember. Uh, Joe Ryan. Dude, that's been supposed s- to be good. He's just started the game for the Olympics last night. For the Olympics. Night. Okay. Four so. innings, one run. Anyway, nice. the f- if we keep Byron Buxton, which we'll talk about in a sec, if we keep him and build around him, like my, I still have hope, but it's just going to be like two, three years out now. I think I think now that, we, baseball, so now that we saw the trade, like ebb and flow. I, I like the trade, but being a Twins fan, we complain about what all the time that we just talked about? Pitching. Mm-hmm. And you yes. just gave up your the, just entering your prime pitcher. The unwillingness to spend money on it. And here... Like we talked, stat-wise, this honestly isn't, in my opinion, if you kept everybody, a something that should be, like, we shouldn't be bad going forward. Mm-hmm. I think next year, if we kept everybody and reloaded, we and should make, have had make the same Make one or two key moves in free agency next year. Buxton's healthy. I, that's the way I would have done it. Uh, Nelson Cruz is also open to the f- open to the idea of coming back to the Twins. That, the double dip would be awesome mm-hmm. of getting value for him and then just come back mm-hmm. afterwards. Because he, he says he so loves honest, Minnesota. Let's be honest, the Rays are not going to pay him. They never do. They don't pay him. They, they always pay they don't have great stars. prospects. Well, what's wild about the Dodgers too? They have all this, but they have one of the best farm systems too. They always yeah. have these crazy prospects yeah. coming up. They um, are nuts. They are nuts. Back to Buxton and my Buxton Hot Wheels shirt. Shout out Buxton Hot Wheels. Love that company. Um, <laughs> that was a very embarrassing offer by the Twins with the, what, four years, five or five years, 70 million, whatever it was. He needs to be north at least 100 or more. Because mm-hmm. I don't care, like I told you, and you don't agree, I don't care if he plays 100 games a year. I don't care if he it plays two-thirds be... of the games. Mm-hmm. He still makes up for that in what he's – but Saving you're still on defense. But you're still missing him in No, 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 60 no I games. know. Would I want that? No. He needs 120. 120 needs to be the number. He yeah. I'm saying at least 100. Could we argue though that this guy like is it just you think it's just a durability thing or has he just had some of the most unlucky I think it's a mixture of both. It's like a mixture. Cuz the last one he just came back and he takes got, a and fast ball freaking, off yeah, the right hand. off the hand. Yeah. And he wasn't he early in his career he was getting hurt running to the wall. Got but he fixed that. that. Yep. They, they've sent him this back year, a little bit. It was hamstring early, all Knee that stuff. Thing. Yeah, and then he Some broke his hamate stuff. bone or whatever. The boxing fracture. The boxing fracture. Yeah, that wasn't his fault. He is That's twenty seven, just... which it's crazy how fast these guys have like aged. He's just entering. But his prime. we still have. I mean, in baseball, you can play at the top. Maybe not center field, but right field till you're thirty five. Yeah, like you can keep playing. Yeah, so. So, to go before we go on to our next topic, the next clue for our guess that player. The first one was third round pick in the NFL draft. Second one is just one word. Frightening. Now, I'll repeat. First first clue was third round pick in the NFL draft. Second one is frightening. As we go on, as you're listening to this, if you think you know who it is, send us a tweet on Twitter. Guess who it is. If you're wrong, no biggie. If you're the first one to be right, we'll retweet you. Absolutely. All right, next topic, the Olympics. The Olympics. The middle of the night live event Olympics. That's what sucks, but it's, it's really also sucks. it adds a little bit of excitement, you know, staying up late to watch somebody. But uh, the first thing I want to point out, I don't know, I haven't looked it up, is the next Olympics going to be in three years or four? It should, be it should be 2024. Okay. Because do we know where it's at? I think I want to say it's if Los it's Angeles. If it's Los Angeles, I want to say it's Los Angeles. Let's make it a goal to be to be at a point where we can just go That'd do a live live stream safe. or do video shows from there. Sick. 
That'd be awesome. Um, that would be dead. But it, <laughs> because they, it's this year still on TV on all their ads. It's Tokyo 2020. Yeah, yep. it is still so. It's got to yeah. be 2024. Just like Euros 2020 with the soccer. As we go yeah. forward with this, one thing I want to say it's super unfortunate. Not necessarily the late night thing isn't a huge deal, but I still think this is happening. But I know that the Olympic Committee, um, international, I think it's IOC, International Olympic Committee, I don't know something like that, something like that. They have taken a stance and in their deals with NBC have not allowed. They, they've garbage. been they've been copyright striking clips on Twitter, which NBC to me is failing the. Olympics. Which to me, okay, as someone who has not been able to stay up late and watch different things. I have basically lived through the Olympics through these guys telling me what's going on and tweets. And it's so sad because normally with the Olympics, you watch swimming. You get to see the relays. Watching Michael you get Phelps to see everything. Day was one of the best so fun. And when you don't have it on social media in a day and age where everyone shares clips, I think it's the worst decision they've ever made. I think it's, it's awful. awful. It's awful. Like last, the last night or even the last two U.S. men's games, it, you, you, we had to watch a stream because either you pay for Peacock because it's not on TV. Yeah. How do you not? Last night was the semifinals of men's basketball. How do you not show? How is that, that not on TV? How is that not a national thing? And it's a why is that not on? Why is that night? not on NBC? Exactly. I don't it's, know what's on eleven so fifteen. They botched this. They have. They're just trying to get more money to make you buy. It, it's just like Major League Baseball. It's short-sighted cash over long-term value and exposure. Correct. Correct. But it's not going to work. First topic is just Team USA, so we'll just go over the medal count. China has the most golds, but we have the most medals overall. How many more golds do they have than us? Five? Five. We have 18 more medals. They're second medals, and we have 18 more do medals. Do we have a lot more to go? A lot more competition? Or Problem is, China? track is let down. Men's track yeah, is let the down. The 4x1 didn't even make the finals? No. Carl Lewis went off on Were we that. supposed to make the finals? Yes. They, I put a bet down. They, were at, they boosted it to plus 100 to win gold. And they didn't even make the finals. So do we drop the baton, or we just no? They had slow? a horrible handoff. They had an awful, and awful, Carl Lewis awful claims handoff. they had the oh wrong gosh. athletes running the wrong legs. What that and means? I mean, I know claims, what it means, but he claims I don't they know. were doing the handoffs wrong too. I don't know if it was just because they messed up, but he claims they were doing the handoffs so wrong bad. or the yeah, system. So I don't, I don't get it. But um, let's go, let's go. We're gonna skip no, the next one. We'll go on to the. Back to the swimming, okay? The Michael Phelps female version of now, Katie Ledecky. Yep. What was the graphic? She the top She's more long times. She has right? the, the top 800 free, 23 yeah. times in the 800 free. Ever. Isn't she? Is she still young too? Yes. I think she's getting like 20, mid 20s, 20, maybe. 22, well, I think she was 17 in her first one. So yeah, 25 like 20, or 26. Okay. She's been doing it since 2012. I think so. London, can we right? can we wow. just go back? Or the was she top 17 and 16? 23 all time times that's, in that's the 800 free. Wild. Maybe she's 22. Five years since I, I remember her it. being still in high school in her first Olympics. But uh, Katie Ledecky, wild. Uh, Michael Phelps even called her to go. And Michael Phelps wow. is far and away the mm. most impressive swimmer we've ever seen. Yeah. Is she getting up to him? In she's 24. Medical? 24. So okay, she's got to be. I mean, Michael Phelps had so many Olympics, but she's got to at least be on pace. Let's go to her. Oh, she won the 800 free by a second. Yep. Holy crap. So, I mean, but second place was five seconds out of third. Yeah. Yeah, somebody uh, She's been awesome, man. Gold, Katie Ledecky in the 15. She won the 1500 by four seconds. What I didn't think about was swimming. I heard them talking one night when I was watching. Uh, it might have been like the four by one free. Caleb Dressel also lighting up swimming. Yeah. For guys. Um, yep. Doing very well. They're talking about breathe side. It's like obviously when you're doing the American, that's what's called the American crawl. That's what we yep. always called it growing up. You know, you t take a breath to one side. They're talking about how, oh, now she's on, or now he's on his breathing side. So they can see where the person is when they're on that side, but I think they're kind of blind in the other way. Yeah, which I don't know how much of a big deal that is. You can makes, probably only see. You only go up one way. down, and you see over here. I don't know what kind of effect that has, or if it does at all. If you just kind of do yeah. your own thing. I don't know. But when you flip around, you can see them, the other person. I mean, but if you guys, if you guys can't tell, we're not the greatest swimmers. I was not a great swimmer. I was not great. I, I failed level four swimming lessons. I also passed level one on the first I day. I think I just quit. You just quit? I, honestly, I think I stopped after level four. 
I don't even know what level it was. I don't even think I passed only, only the tryhards went to level five. I mean, I was doing handstands. The, the wannabe lifeguards. I was doing, I was doing handstands in the shallow end and level one. Like, this kid's way too advanced. <laughs> this, so kid, to level two. this kid's got his head fully underwater. <laughs> Let's, level Let's level put two. him in just like in number two. That's awesome. Um, another athlete that's been in the news, not so much for uh, – the events, but just kind of what happened. Simone Biles, mm-hmm. with from what we've learned afterwards, I mean, we know she pulled out of the all around individual t- or team team originally, and the all around individual, but yep. then competed in the beam to end. She she pulled yeah. out of a couple individual events, I think, too. Yes, of the uh, it was everything was specific. strictly individual. Yep. Yeah, yeah, and. Had some anxiety. The, the twisties is that what they call it? They said it's, it's, it's a, the twisties. When you get in the She's air, she's saying and you, just you can't. Lose. You can't tell where you're at. Yeah, and it's very dangerous, is what they say. From I read a tweet Which from sucks. a gymnast who said that kind of the I think it was I want to say it was the floor routine that she initially like had a bad experience with in this Olympics. They said that she landed it. She I, I saw the clip. She lands. She actually hops off the whole like floor. And lands on her feet again, uh, off of the stage or whatever. And they say if that was anybody else, it would have been a dangerous, dangerous injury. So she's just so athletic that she landed it, Dang. which is a scary thing. Very. Imagine throwing your body that high, mm-hmm. that fast, that that much movement. Yeah. Like, and you don't know what you're doing, or you don't have any feel for it. Like that's got to be one of the most helpless mm-hmm. feelings. Yeah, I'll be honest right away. I didn't understand it. Yeah, yeah. I think right away everyone know, was. I don't even know if I agreed with it. But then, I the distinction I didn't know. between like an NFL player just deciding he's done versus gymnastics where you can break your freaking neck yeah. or tear your ACL because you're so disoriented. Like it wasn't like she was just like, I'm mad and I'm just gonna be done. But then that affects her quality too. Like, hey, I don't want to fully commit to this when the only yeah. way you can achieve yeah. that move is fully yeah. committing to it and going as and hard supposedly as they wouldn't score her correctly that's what i saw on facebook supposedly, i don't know if yeah. that's true i think that's supposedly. more a conspiracy theorist but i don't know if that that's they don't they been, don't use yeah herd level difficulty but they almost used it against her way. how good she was mm-hmm. so other people didn't try it or something yeah but so. on to the next olympic thing it's gonna be with team usa i guess soccer and basketball um, last night, Team USA won the semifinal game against Australia. They were down 15. I put 100 on the money line, and they were down 15 in the second quarter. They ended up winning by 20. Uh, oh my gosh. Lock. You guys are wild. Um, I also had a different Throwing bet. dual locks. I also put the over on USA, US, the USA game and the Slovenia game. They both hit the overs, so that was nice. I think I made over $800 yesterday, so it was kind of a good day. But then there's Chris. So we'll start Chris, earlier this week with soccer. We'll do soccer the, first. We'll do the, soccer first. The yeah. Gold Cup. Amazing. USA versus Mexico. I I put so dumb me. I took USA money line right away for a hundred. And then it goes to extra time. I'm like, okay. And I look at my bet loss. I was like, okay, so you mm-hmm. can pick a tie after after a regulation, whatever. Fine. No score in the first 15 of extra time. Mm-hmm. So then I put 100 on plus 650 in the f- second 15 minutes of extra time. Still 0-0 with five minutes left. Mm-hmm. USA gets a free kick with about three left. I don't remember this guy's yes. first name, but Robinson. Miles. Miles Robinson. Miles. Header. Goal. Two minutes Just the left. most beautiful cross header. It was perfect. Two you minutes see left. He had the angle. Me and Chris, I didn't even bet on it. Me and Chris are just celebrating. Yeah, it's freaking awesome. It was insane. What was it? Plus plus six fifty. So I it paid out seven fifty. And that also just shows how big of underdogs they were. They were yeah. not supposed to beat. Well, Mexico. Did, weren't no. we playing like a lot of guys that aren't on our? Like Polisic is not there. It yes. seems like a lot of younger. I guys. I thought I read a story where it's like almost a team of backups. Almost. Yeah. So, Which is why, because Mexico you know, has had their full you know team, what? right? You know, who has clamps though. Huge for USA soccer. Freaking, what's his name? I can't remember. Uh, I, I just can't remember his name. Shaq Moore. Shaq Moore. Shaq, Shaq Moore, Moore, baby. Shaq Moore. He, Dude, nobody got around that. That guy. USA team, they gave up so few goals. I know they're not playing like the European teams, but Mexico is still really good. Yeah, but so like, just their America. one-on-one defense. I'm not a soccer guy. I don't understand the basics of defense and all that. But the one-on-one defense was awesome to watch. And they they gave up so few goals. Obviously, 
it was not just our eyes telling us this, but they literally just weren't giving up goals. Mm-hmm. So that also is another yeah. quantifier about how good, how well they were doing. But the one-on-one defense, which I didn't even think was really a thing in soccer, was unbelievable. They just yeah. clamp like they try to go around them. They, I don't even know what to call it. They stick their leg out Slide and steal tackle the ball. Or... Yeah. Yeah, they just couldn't get around them. It, it is around. going to be very like I'm. I don't know about these guys, but since like 2010, I've been a huge World Cup guy. I just love just the World the Cup. World Cup though. It's so fun. Yeah, yes. not other soccer, just the World Cup. It's country, Coast. country. Yo, uh, what was it? Uh, Yaya, Yaya Torre. Torre. Yaya Torre. Um, but this this World Cup next year, 2022 in Qatar. Is that you said Qatar? Yeah. yeah. Um, That's who the USA beat in the semis. This is done. it's going to be fun. Like if this team USA team with backups can beat uh Mexico can beat top, Mexico. Are they top 10? I think they're a top 10 team. Top 10 like team. this is going to be fun. We need our country needs USA need men to be good at soccer. USA men's. We need Especially it. with the women kind it'll, of It'll probably off. help women, the MLS women a ton just got too. Upset. Yeah. And yeah, they did. The second Olympics. time in the tournament they lost in the semis, yeah. but then they won the bronze. They won the third they did, place. So. Game. They did. Um second story. USA versus Australia semis. Last Looking night. through the parlays basketball. on FanDuel basketball. I was going to take Kevin Durant for 30. I'm like, no, that's only like plus 300. I get down to the bottom. Devin Booker, 20 plus, plus 1,200. So I put my other parlay of baseball games, $100 on that. Our stream went down right when he had 18. Yep. And we get back, and Zach said the chat was. There's going a chat. Off we're on, watching it on a stream because we don't have Peacock. On we don't Devin have... Booker. He gets twenty exactly, fifteen hundred dollar payout, and Kevin Insane. Durant didn't reach his over Kevin under. Durant didn't Insane. Reach it. Booker has not been scoring that much at all nope. in the in the Olympics. Well, that, He's been starting with all of these players, that twenty points is a lot that's for a one lot. player to score. Yes. And there's there are only ten minute quarters. Un- unless you're Ricky Rubio, man, you know scoring thirty eight. You know what I'm saying? Spain Ricky after Rubio. We him, after we traded him, Spain yeah. Ricky Rubio is an MVP in the NBA. Yes. Yeah, regular Absolutely. NBA Ricky Rubio is not much. Um, with with football season coming up, just expect one thing we really want to do with this is we we love betting, but it's kind of bad that's like the Olympics have been fun, but also like there's to you me also, personally there's nothing watch. like betting on the NFL, and so we're really excited. College football is really fun too. And, no, sorry, football in general. Yeah. Football in general yes. is my favorite to bet on, and so um, I like NBA more personally. We, once the NFL season and then college football get going, we'll have a uh, what we call a throne duel section here. Um, fan duel, throne duel. Uh, and so we'll, we'll be covering our bets and just fun stuff like that week to week. So, yeah, I don't I'm think excited really, for it. I don't think we have any, Like, we'll get, like, if we release it on a Saturday, we'll put our maybe like a lock in for Sunday. Lock. We'll or, give you guys, we'll give you guys uh, like, like a three teamer. But during, yeah. during this think? time, baseball just happens too much like, every day yep. to yeah. pick one. Mm-hmm. Um, we could pick like a World Series winner, but yeah. I kind of want Giants. Also in the AL, I don't like we. It's it, you're not gonna like the, uh, the Astros after the whole trash nope. can thing. I'm, I'm not gonna no. like the Astros. They're really really good in the AL. I think the team I'm gonna start rooting for since the Twins are out of it, Blue Jays. Blue Jays. I like lineup the Blue is Jays. loaded. Barrios is Vlad, there. Barrios George is Springer. There. I mean George Springer is there and he's a part of it. He's part of the Astros. But that's all right. It's but he got out of it. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that'll, that'll, that'll be a this will be a more prominent section going forward, Simeon. especially Simeon. when. Uh, football yeah, season picks up because what we're gonna release yep. these try to on like saturdays yeah we'll try it friday saturday release time and what we can do too is what i want to do i haven't even brought this up to you guys with with football i want to track our bets and see who's up the most Ooh. week to week so like just one game so each of us give so a like, lock well yeah, yeah. A lock it, and an upset it can be a well, well we can do like a straight and we can do a parlay and then just see who's up okay like, okay, like okay. Game parlay. Yeah. i mean i mean whatever okay. i play on here i'll probably play myself too so yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying. Well, we have to actually bet it. If you don't bet it, it doesn't genius. count. No, but we're also giving them. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean we're I just, the same thing. you know, Vegas. We're, we're banned from Vegas. We're just savants when it comes Never to stuff, been. man. Like, not we just. Not true. Not true. Our, not our true. picks are locks, not boys. Not true. So. Um, <laughs> speaking of the NFL, though. Preseason game tonight. Preseason. We're recording this on Hall Thursday. Fame game. Can, can I say, like. Matt had a hilarious joke. This is the this is the Hall of Fame game, and there is not one player on either uh, Pittsburgh, the Steelers roster, or the Cowboys roster that is currently in the Hall of Fame. What it's a, a joke! It's a, a freaking so joke. Telling, you're telling me like Bart Starr is not playing, or no, nah. not even for Steelers. And like Eagles you can't play. call it the Michael, Michael, Michael Irvin. Terry Bradshaw's not even playing. You can't call it the Hall of Fame game and not have players in the Hall of Fame playing. That would honestly be a seven on seven like. 
old Hall of Fame guys <laughs> playing against yes. each other would be kind of cool. I bet I bet a guy like Jerry Rice still has it. Yes. Or Ter- De- I mean, Terrell Owens is Deion younger. Deion Sanders. Deion Sanders. Future video idea if we ever do in real life. Stalk him. Make him play. Yeah, I don't know how that would ever work. <laughs> I don't think we're going to get that Just keep spamming him on Instagram. You know so what whatever you do, do not call Dion Dion when he's in a coach setting. Yep. Don't do you do want to know what, though? That if we ever get seven on seven going, I'm going to call him Dion to his face. Well, he's, not then, he's not a coach. He's not a coach. And then just get absolutely toasted. No, Chris will just burn him with that. Chris has a very polished route tree. Very uh Tell him, tell him, my, tell him my Madden route tree. Tell him my game plan. <laughs> if uh, somebody's pressing you in Madden, run a fly. If somebody's playing, <laughs> if somebody's playing off you, run a curl or a slant. What What That's else do you awesome. need? What else do you need? Matt wa- or Chris That's wanted so to put funny. that on Taylor's. What route. else do you need? And I'm then sometimes, routes. sometimes the linebacker on the same size of slant kind of leaks over. So you got to wait till like yes. the second or third window across the field. Okay, wide open. Spe- speaking of which, okay, I see that this is the move now to kind of bring the. It's kind of bad. It's kind of dope. It's kind of yeah, dope. Um, but you know what we should do if we ever start doing any uh, in real life videos. First person to beat Taylor in a game of Madden, and just can take I just, like a day of Taylor's time. Can I just, just pay his... my way out of that and just talk? Because I'm not even getting close. <laughs> just commentate. Now, I don't know. Now, if I get the best team in regs against, he gets he, like we have to play team. regs because Taylor will he'll complain about how regs so much different than than Mutt. So we'll play regs. Mm-hmm. Get him so off. His, get, get him like, off his game. So but. I get like the Chiefs, and he can have like the oh. who even, even like know. the Saints. Yeah, nobody now. That's good. Imagine. I was gonna say like the Lions. Hey, don't don't hate on Lions. DeAndre Swift, Jared bro. Goff, though. Lions. Yeah, DeAndre Swift and their defense Lions. is awful. Yeah, yeah probably, Lions. Lions. probably Lions. They have no receivers, but um, so yeah, we're gonna mention. Speaking of players and receivers and rookies, the, and we're gonna mention our the dynasty league, the new best dynasty league in the, the league. Oh my gentlemen. goodness! Shout out, guys in the league. If guys. you guys, if you guys don't know what a dynasty league is, it's also called a keeper league, isn't it? Keeper league, or is that different? No, no, dynasty league. I thought that's Ke- what it is. Keeper is like you, only get you get to keep like, a one or two oh, players. Okay. Yeah. So dynasty, dumb it. Keeper's the dumbest thing you, in fantasy football. You know how you do a draft every year for fantasy? That's called redraft. But for dynasty, you literally keep all of your guys. For as long as you want them. Yeah, it, it's, a forever, it's a forever you're league. You're essentially league. running a team like a real it's NFL a team just draft rookies. The Next best year, part paying them a contract. The best part yeah, is that you no have future cap. picks. You do like three years out, so 2024. So you can trade your future rookie picks. So it's it's so been I, so fun. So I took Jamar Chase. Strategies. So I have Jamar Chase for Forever. the rest of his career unless I decide to get rid of him. Unless he gets rid of him or Jamar Chase is out of the league or the yep. league goes down. Yep. So you've got like two of the three. There's essentially like three strategies you can have. Mm-hmm. Just yep. be a rebuild right away. And go straight for kind picks, of sell mediocre, off older assets. Have good guys in their prime with rookies. And then if you hit a lightning in a bottle year one or two, yeah, that's fine. Mean. Or me or me and Matt kind of. I'm more of the go for you. You're the your, your guys is the rebuild two, good. And then he's my my guys he's will appreciate like, over he's time. He's kind of like four and five year right away. Yeah, four and five years. So you Look got young guys, up right now, but not guys guys, guys that will appreciate that should appreciate in value over the next They'll two years. But yeah. you want to know what though? Guess who got the first overall pick? Chris, this guy. The first so overall who, pick? Oh, and the so who did I take? Oh, yeah. Obviously Patrick Mahomes. My plan. I'm gonna tell you all right now. If I can win two out of the first three, two out of the first three. I'm gonna sell Patrick Mahomes. You're not winning. You're not winning this year. There's a little bit <laughs> of rivalry here. This year. Matt, My Matt team's Chris, way better. Uh, Your quarterbacks are garbage. <laughs> no, Two of the top not. teams in the league. We've actually been doing Lamar power Jackson. rankings. Chris cool. was voted he, first he overall. Dud. Matt was voted second overall. My in team's power incredible. Rankings. It's just like a coach's poll. We just took a poll in our league. Matt got second. Chris got first. Um, Let's it, just put it this way: I Hunter have, is probably the only other team that's close. I have yes. Patrick Mahomes. Dalvin Cook and Devontae Adams. Have I have Jordan. Lamar Jackson. That's fine. Christian I'm McCaffrey, fine. Jonathan Taylor, AJ Brown. So, so you just threw Jonathan Taylor in there with the three. He has more pieces. Jonathan Taylor is the 102. Jonathan Taylor is the He's getting AJ Brown points. That's Santa Hill points. Tana. True. What was I going to say? Yep. Jonathan Taylor is the 102 right now in Dynasty Startups. Congrats. Nelson might be out 12 weeks. Congrats. Might be. Yeah. Don't care. He's also going to try to come back in five, he said. Don't care. Just um, saying, man. We'll, we'll keep bringing this oh, up week to week. Hey, you guys, who's your tight end? I don't even know. 
Noah Fant, dude. Uh, Analytic Waller. queen. Darren Waller. King. It's not Second queen. ranked tight end. I'm just going to sit things. over here, hold my tongue. You know, hopefully some of my rookies Zach, blow up this year. I will say, I've told Zach this, and we'll. Um, I mean, we can go over roster. I don't know if people care, but we can do it like some other time. we'll go over rosters at some point, and we'll 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 bring we'll bring different league members on as things happen. You know, we got a lot of you guys watch the podcast, and it's super fun. It's basically just all people that we grew up with. Yep, everyone we know, everyone. Uh, you'll know bunch you, of like Mel's dudes, bunch of like Mel's guys. But um, Zach's team, Zach has a team that I love because this dude has so many guys that are about to blow up this year. Jamar Chase, Brandon Ayuk, Javante Williams, I think, is going to be a top 12 running back over his career. He may not, maybe not the first year, but over time. Zach's got Saquon Barkley. He traded for Saquon Barkley. Yep. He traded for Austin Eckler. He's got, um, who do you got at quarterback? Kyler Murray. And Baker. and Baker's not a bad second quarterback. He's He really came he into his own last year. Yep. And he's finally feeling comfortable in offense. Baker's have, first three years, he had like four different OCs. And I have Odell. And then you have OD Odell, who's a who's a uh, bounce back, and and my favorite sleeper that no one else knows about but me and Zach, Terrace Marshall Jr. Baby, this no dude one else played. Knows. I literally watched this guy last year. Okay, thank you. Okay, maybe you know. Or he's um, talking more, I guess, in the NFL setting. Like, yes, you heard of him in college, but but I know who this he guy, is. Terrace Marshall Jr. Oh crap, who he plays for? There you now. go. That's that's what he's, he's from LSU. Yeah, he he what plays for the Panthers. I, I know what he meant. Um. This dude played behind Justin Jefferson and Jamar Chase. Yes. Yep. And he still produced. He's a freaking beast. And so I love your team, Zach. You got Appreciate Kyle Pitts at tight end. Your team is only going to get – your team is a team in two years that could be the best team in the league. That's what be I'm honest. For. Besides me. I mean, second best. But uh, on to the – oh, we have another we have another clue before we go on to our next topic. Uh, so first first uh, hint – no, I shouldn't I shouldn't say the hints. They should have to go back and see the other yep. hints. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Third hint for this mystery player for guess that player. He's a wide receiver. He is a wide receiver. That's our third hint. I didn't think we went with. We have one, one more hint coming. Then we have a fourth. Uh, we have one more at the end that we'll kind of say, Just and then we'll one. reveal the player uh, at the very, very We're end. We're gonna release the next one right We're, before the. I'll do it right after area stuff. I'll do it right after Iowa football. When we talk about Iowa football. Okay. Was yeah. was there much else for regular NFL or just go right to Vikings training camp? There's not that much um, right now. It's kind of just not really there's not right. much tra- there's not much not buzz. Stuff. Yeah, there's not much there's not a whole lot of buzz yet until we get the preseason games yeah. going. So, but I would just of note we are recording this on the day of the Hall of Fame game. I don't know if it will be released on the same day. Can't tell you. I can't tell you I've ever Hopefully watched tonight. a Hall of Fame game except for when the editors. Right. I don't know. So, uh, yeah, we'll go on to the next thing. We have Vikings training camp. Who's looking good, Matt? Matt, what are you? What are you thinking? You're kind of the beat writer. What are people saying? I guess I'll go with Chris. I'll go with Chris. This is more his forte. Yeah, Vikings this is my guys. Area, man. I, um, I'll, I'll follow it up after Chris. Uh, Daniil's Daniil, obviously. He looks he's like he hasn't rusty. missed. They say he's rusty, but he's so explosive. Right, he's still. just explosive. more of getting fine. back into everything. Yep. Um, same thing on the offense. Justin Jefferson's Justin Jefferson. Maybe even a little better. Um, just early Maybe. on mm-hmm. from Dude. last year. Um, that. I don't even know how to say his name. That Kane guy from Iowa Kine State. Nwongu? Yeah. yeah. Athletic so he freak. Is, they knew he was fast. He's faster than fast, when you see him yeah. in person. Um, Iowa State, for you Iowa State fans, he's an Iowa State backup running back. Or was. New guys, Patrick Peterson, Bashad Breeland. Looking good. The defense is, should be. Bashad. Wh- Bashad, sorry. I always forget. Infinitely Bashad. better than last year. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Pierce, Dalvin Tomlinson. Sheldon Richardson. Sheldon, Sheldon Richardson, who came back, he's taking less money to come um, back, just like Mac Alexander it, took less money to come to the, back to the Vikings. Is yep. Xavier Woods going to start at the other safety? I think, I think so. so. Yes. Okay, and then Harrison, obviously. But the one thing that does suck is the Jeff Gladney stuff, mm-hmm. releasing him after the indictment. Deservedly uh, so. Yep. No, absolutely. But the the situation sucks. Like if you're talking purely football, um, obviously Vikings had to do it. It, ju- it you it never want to lose last year. a 2020. First round pick right. coming into his second year. Exactly. Uh, thank God we drafted a guy like Cameron Dantzler, which or else this would be a Terrible. way worse of a situation. Yeah, it's true. Um, and thank God we thank God that we signed Patrick Peterson and Mac Alex and, and Mac Alex. Is he going to be our slot. third? I think he's nickel. Yeah. What about Mike Hughes? Is he gone? He's gone. We're I couldn't there. remember he's that. We did. Yeah, we did. Okay. Thank the the Nickelback situation last year was not good, mm-hmm. and um, Mac Alexander played that really well before he left. Mm-hmm. Well, I thought Gladney was playing it really well he last was. year, but he then because he struggled outside. So yeah, um, maybe later if Xavier Woods doesn't work out, you move Patrick Peterson to 
safety, safety and let Dan Slater. That'd be in kind of career. wild. That'd be kind of wild. He's not thirty yet, is he, Patrick Peterson? I think he's oh, thirty one. Oh yeah. He's gotta be. I thought he was right on the cusp, but like he's been playing since he was like He's had like from eight day one all NFLs. And I will say kind of one of the Yeah, he's um, thirty one, you're right. Yeah. One of the newcomers that they said have played really well. Amir Smith Marsat. Iowa. Iowa boy said he's played yep. really well, super fast. A guy, a guy that didn't get a whole lot like and KJ Osborne, both those speed receivers are doing well. And we signed well, DD Westbrook, who we we'll be did. in the competition for wide receiver yep. three, coming off a torn ACL. Yep. Yeah, yeah. it's. I mean, bars back. We kind of forgot. We should be the last like five games last year. Yeah. My expectation is that the Vikings go like Super Bowl, ten and seven, eleven and six. That's what I, I would want. I am. I'll say 11 and I am six. Paul Allen Jr. I you are the duckies Kool-Aid. and bunnies. That's all hard. Right. Duckies That's and hard. bunnies, because as Common Man says. If you can handle, if me, you can handle the letdown, you're right. But for me, like, why not go into every year now? Well, I sure got awful. But go into every year, especially when you should be good, just thinking this is going to be it. Yeah. No, you you absolutely should. And I saw a tweet one time that said that it was just us to a T growing up. But it was why does every NFL fan think their team when the, when the schedules get released thinks their team's going thirteen and three. It's why would you it's think, so oh, we're going to be like 2-14? and 14. <laughs> I know. It's so funny. What like, two games? Because whenever you go through win. a schedule, oh, we'll beat the Bears. Oh, we'll beat the Lions. Oh, we'll beat the Cowboys. It's so funny. But we should be good. I mean, I think we are a cl- we are closer to 2019 Vikings than we were 2020. I yes. think 2020 was a little and bit of a fluke. the weird stat, Zimmer teams with the Vikings have always done better in odd years. That's Interesting. True. Even That's years true. they've been. 2017, bad. baby. Let's go. Well, because then in 2015, but then in Teddy, but with the 2017 thing, the year after, wasn't it the year after? We we're supposed to be really good. We started, out five, we started out five and oh, no, with Bradford. No, that was 2016. Was that it? was right after, that Either was after way. we yeah, lost yeah, to the yeah, Seahawks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Either way, it's an even year. Yeah, we were five and oh, we, and we went eight and eight, Sam lost Bradford. the playoff. And then the next year, lost Sam Bradford the... played one game and Case Keenum came in. Yes. Gotcha. And then 2018, we got Kirk Cousins for the first year. We went like seven and nine. That's right. That's right. And then but in 2019, we lost to the Vikings. Absolutely. Absolutely. And Kirk's not an elite quarterback. He's very good. There's only he, two to there's only three to four elite quarterbacks, anyways. I do think he takes another step forward this year. I, I think he took a but step I'm forward last year in, in that terms first of first year he was here. We had what's his face, the Eagles dude. Oh, uh, coordinator. John D. Filippo. Yes. He was oh, yeah. awful. He did not run. That was a classic. Oh, he won the Super Bowl, so we're gonna take the QB coach from the Super a Bowl Kirk team. Cousins based offense. No, it was like a weird. It was one of those like jet sweep shotgun type yeah, offenses it didn't work. with a bunch of. And to be honest, the offensive line has been a hole completely. Because yeah, Kirk absolutely. can't move. Dar- I think Darius Saw is going to be incredible. Which He's been I see a people, bit. even my yep. friends, shout out you guys. Watch this. How they say, oh. Patrick Mahomes' offense line is very good. He just runs around it. Well, did you watch the Super Bowl? Yeah, exactly. He, he his well, he, they were really good before that. They had so bad. many injuries. Yeah, if they play bad that bad, you can't move around. It's not that Lamar is. Jackson where he's a he he is so good at running that he's has designed runs as well, and you can kind of correct. Which Lamar Jackson has a good old line. Like he had Ronnie Stanley and Orlando Brown Jr. Like yeah. among other guys. Yeah. But um, one thing I will say before, like just a quick caveat, I thought about this earlier today, like. I think I would put up to like two hundred fifty dollars on the Chiefs winning the Super Bowl this year. Mm. They guys, they should have like if if Patrick Mahomes, you are, I do not think you're stopping this I, offense. They upgraded the O line so correct, much. Correct, but how do but, you stop that offense with a good O line? Remember, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers literally have everybody back. They do. I think, I think it's going to be a repeat. I, I think it's going to be the Buccaneers, opinion, Buccaneers and Chiefs opinion, again. In my opinion, I think the Bucks just got hot. I don't think they're that good. I don't think they're uh, that. Good. I think Maybe, they still. I think they it's still hard in football. But it or is. was it? They all finally gelled that second half well, of the year, and that's why they got. Vikings high. almost beat them, and we played. We missed five field goals. We also won at, at Tampa. the Packers. Yeah. I mean, do the so, bu- what so. holes do the Bucks have though? Like, I think Anton Winfield Jr. is a real guy. deal. I think Tristan Tristan Wirfs is a real deal. He's, he's one of the most highly he's rated right tackles in the league. I, I told people last year. I made bets. With my friends at college, I was betting on the Chiefs. I said I will, I do, I will never bet against Patty Mahomes. No, one hundred percent, no. Even after that game, I will still, I still never won't. Bet no, I still won't. Patty Mahomes. I won't either. He played his butt what, off. What are the odds? Super Bowl odds for them? I don't know. But I don't know, but I have the Vikings already. As you, <laughs> hey, do you want to you want to give predictions? Just record wise, I'm on going the, eleven and six. Or do you want to go Vikings? game by game? Because it's seventeen games. 
Not 16. Let's do yes. that week before the season. Week before the season? Okay, okay, okay. We yeah. can do that. We can do that. Okay, so before we get into the Iowa football, and Matt's looking up the odds for uh, Super, Super Bowl. Odds. Plus 500 for the Kansas City Chiefs, plus 650 for the Bucks. So five to one odds. So if I put 250 on it, it's multiplied by five. I get 1,200. That's not worth it, is it? No. I don't think that is. Maybe like a hundred, maybe 50. I don't think it is. If you're doing 250, I'd take like the um, third or fourth team. I bet on draft. Ravens, games. Ravens, maybe. Ravens, maybe. A while back on DraftKings, I put, uh, I think, 20 bucks on Viking Super Bowl for 1000 Ooh. Yeah, I did 15 I think. Ram- Rams could be a scary good pick. They could. But Stafford's scary never good. been I mean, in that type of situation. The worst part, though, for me is the Cam Akers injury. Like, well, yeah. But, I mean, Daryl Henderson will be fine, but still. Okay. But also, Stafford's right. never been in that situation. I'm a big believer in Stafford, though. Me this too. Been in but he's, dog never, crap awesome. he's never been. I don't think it'll phase him. He's 34 year, 33 years old. He's been in the league since he was 22. He's been he'll in the be playoffs. fine. Well, I mean, like, he'll be fine. Deep. Deep. Yeah. And he has a defense. That defense, that defense is, is so. Really good. If, if they good. do, it's the defense. So good. Aaron um, Donald, Jalen Ramsey. I don't want to cut you guys off, but yeah, just we gotta keep get going. moving. Keep yep. moving. Uh, Iowa football is our next topic to talk about the two deeps. What are some notable things, Chris? You're more of all right. I know nothing Iowa. about Iowa football right now until we figure the, this out. The one that should have the biggest jump is Tyrone Tracy being oh, the main was, receiver. He had so, didn't he? Was it two last year or two years ago? He had those really good games. Yeah. Two years ago. Two years ago. Tyrone Tracy, the, okay. The newcomer on offense, Keegan Johnson from Nebraska. Yeah, Four star receiver, big dude, probably 6'2 ish. Freshman. Four Freshman. star Arlen Bruce, Arlen is Bruce two? that just won a title with Brody Brecht, who's coming. And, and uh, well, there is and three wide receivers. Um, still though, obviously the best. He's still a two. Best draft prospect on offense is Tyler Linderbaum. Yep, he's the best. He's a monster. He, couldn't he be he's went, the went top the first round this year? Lineman could have if he would have been eligible. Yeah. Maybe second, yeah. yeah, yes. He said he didn't even, didn't even think about going to the draft. He was eligible. He, he was eligible. Yeah, because he's, yeah, a, red he's a red shirt. Sophomore. Yeah, red shirt sophomore. Um, Sam Laporta should be a good tight end. Hopefully. Um, Petrus makes, Petrus the, jump. makes the jump. Goodson's Tyler Goodson, he was left off like a Bleacher Report top ten running backs returning. Is, that is ridiculous. I'm, Tyler I'm Goodson not, is. Brees huge. Hall was like fifth. That's stupid. Yeah, I'm that's not awful. huge on the Tyler Goodson train. Like I don't think he's the best running back. I didn't say he's the best. No, 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 he's no, top no, ten no, in college no, no, football. No, no. That like that we've had. Like I, I don't think he's elite. Elite. I think he's really good. But here's the problem. He does both. He can run between the tackles and he can catch the ball. Yes, that Akram helps. That was helps. better catching the ball and out in space. This is true, and also a terrible. Gavin person. Williams, redshirt yeah. freshman's a two. Ivory Kelly Martin's a four. He's just been a career backup. He's still there. Ivory Kelly That's Martin. That's what it says on here on the two. We have a redshirt freshman uh, right D tackle at one right now. Yaha, Yaya Black. They say he's good. And we will finally see Royce Burns and myself, favorite recruit the last few years. Justin Jacobs. Justin Jacobs. Redshirt sophomore from Ohio. Chose us over Ohio State late at Ooh, outside linebacker. What the heck is that? He is like He's a big dude. He is like the Taylor Mays of Iowa football. Like build okay, wise. Just fast and big. Huge dude. Okay. Jack Matt Campbell Hankins though. Is still there. Holy Jack really Campbell. Good end of the year. Jack Campbell's a some dude. Good games, yeah. Is he? Okay. Dane Belton. Dane Belton again. Good, isn't he? Yeah. Dane, Dane Belton, good. aka Kaysen from Walmart. Kaysen, yep. Yeah, Kaysen handle. Same baby. number. Uh, Jack Kerner and, and Moss have played a lot of the one of we're forgetting, who's yep. not even a starter right now, I don't know why, Xavier Williams, the transfer from you and I. I hope Ooh. he can move up. What's the, GR? A grad transfer. He oh. he is uber athletic. He is insane. He was a great you and I corner. I don't know why he's not higher. I think it's just too early. Did you highlight okay. these? No, these are, it Bold? says up here, they're different colors, like freshmen and stuff. Oh, okay, okay. Um, okay. Just printed it off. Dope. Same but thing. yeah. Iowa should have a solid season. We, 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 what are we should. in the top twenty-five? Like fifteen? I think they're twenty. I think. Twenty, and then Iowa State's like six. Yeah. So if we win, we could segue. It, good segue. It could be college game day. So yeah. leading into our Iowa oh, State yes, segment, but we're gonna go to the Cyhawk game. So I looked it up oh, again man. today. Iowa State's lost the last five in a row. They haven't won since since Steel, Steel Jans. Or is it after was that? Was that earlier? It was 2014. I think that's Steel Jance. Was yeah. that the 41 38 game, yes. double OT? Yeah. That's the last time last they won. Time they won. Yeah. So, Iowa I've State. Told all my friends that are Iowa State fans, if you guys returning literally everybody, everybody. on both best sides of the ball, history for them. best team in school history, at home, it was supposed to be at Kinnick this year, but they missed it at home. The pressure's on them. So, in they this went to Ames. Game. If they don't win it this year, when are you going to win? 
That is so true. Again, it's true. So true. I'm honestly, I, guys, we, I would not bet on Iowa that week, no. knowing what's going on. Yeah, no. It's, that might be another Iowa State game day. It should be. Because that's a better game than what they came should, for last time. Should we time. go to that game? We probably should. Maybe do a little a little tailgate. Maybe a uh, little tailgate show. Little segue into the next topic on the same thing. Maybe Caleb Bacon. Get a little in. Caleb so, Bacon. Uh, Caleb Bacon. Caleb Bacon's one of Get our some closest tickets, friends. Bro. One of our one of our dudes. Podcast friend. Uh, he's a preferred walk on going into Iowa State. Be a freshman. He's probably going to redshirt his first year. His plan is to redshirt. You know, get some special team snaps that second year, and then be in the lineup hopefully sophomore year at some point. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's love, his goal. Love me some Caleb. Best. That love's gonna go down just like a like a centimeter when he gets on campus. <laughs> uh, just I mean, a centimeter. Um, maybe I told maybe you. two. Oh man, um, this guy. Can can I just say like I want to know what this kid like? You saw what this kid turned into from his senior the year only, the to NAIA is, weightlifting program. What is Caleb Bacon gonna look like the, in a D one lifting program? The only thing is. He, I told him he's not going to have as big of an explosion as some of these other guys because he's already, he's already putting big. in the work. He's but already like, putting in the yeah, work. He's he can already, only do yeah, so yeah. much. He's going to get bigger. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, but yeah. he's not going to yep. – I don't think he's going to have one are of those you, crazy, crazy body transformations yeah. like you see some guys. Are, are you saying that you weren't putting in the work in, in high school when you got signed by Waldorf? Subliminally, yes. That's what Zach did. <laughs> Zach didn't put in the I work. wish I would have lifted more in high school. I wish I would have worked out. I don't think any of us put in the work, but I think Chris put in the least amount of work. Oh, my God. And he was the best athlete by far. Are you sure it wasn't Taylor? No, Taylor. Taylor at least you like go to morning baseball. Pitching sometimes, Chris. Swing. Chris is the best at two two time first team All State athlete. Or sorry, two sport first team All State athlete. Dude didn't try. I swear. Like oh, try no, it on no, the no, field. No, no, no. I didn't put it extra work. He didn't put it extra work. No, I'm yeah. saying didn't not on the field. Didn't the try season, to make himself better say, though, because he just the, the lifting program back then was not what it is. It's improved. That is true. Plus, didn't you just get like weren't you like the only freshman or eighth grader there for the first time and they were just like. Making fun of you. No, or sixth grade. You yeah, I didn't add. Grade. I was doing deadlift, and I didn't. <laughs> I forgot to add the forty-five pound bar into it, so I could. I I couldn't get. I couldn't get it off the ground. I was like, I don't know what's going on. I never came back after that. That is <laughs> that's tough. so mean. Uh, it's not like you're they, a senior. Hey, whoever like, those kids that are making fun of you, they created a. They created a demon. Sport all state athlete. Never lifted. I was really, probably talking but. too far away from my mic right there. Um, we forgot. We forgot one on the Iowa State. College football playoff chances. They're one of the top ones. If Iowa doesn't end up being really, really good, I'll probably end up rooting for Iowa State. I'll cheer for them. If Iowa can beat them and And then you'll cheer for them, 100%. Yeah. Mm. So I'll be like, hey. By the transitive property, you, we made the college football playoff. You know what I think of when I think about this whole Iowa, Iowa State thing? I think of the guys, and there's maybe just a couple of them that I – or maybe just one I'm thinking of right now. I probably won't say who it is. He'll know who it is. But the the type of fan that I just cannot stand the most are the people that were Iowa Hawkeye fans growwing up, and then they went to Iowa State. Matt and Drew, another Drew, Iowa Drew, State Drew, 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 or die. Drew, Drew, him. Another Iowa State or die. Like, how can you do that? It's fine to, like, like Matt, them. I get it. Matt, but, like, Matt to Dove. abandon your Hawkeyes – Sorry, Come Matt. on, man. Matt Dove claims since he started paying money to Iowa State, that's why he became a fan. Because they paid, he had to pay to go there. So he's like, might as well be a fan. Oh my gosh. Bogus. Bogus. Shameful. Uh, I also forgot to give the fourth hint Shameful. earlier. Yeah. So the yeah. fourth hint for our guess that player. Do I add in a word? So it's just automobile is our hint. Should I add in a more specific word since our last hint? Um. Sure. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Luxury automobile. So, okay. recap. No, no, someone no, better. No, someone no, better no, get no, this. No, no, someone. They gotta, they gotta someone better get this. They got to listen throughout. This one. I mean, obviously we know it, but like this is. They have to get this. This is yes. pretty tough. This is a pretty. You know tough who one. I think is gonna get this? I think a guy like Levi Meyer is gonna get this. Levi Meyer. I have two other. I ones. think he's gonna get it off like the first one. I know Brady Schmidt I listens to every single one, head. so I think Brady could maybe get it. Brady. I have okay. Two other ones. I don't even want to say Two other hints? Oh, okay. Because. Yep, 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 yep. And. I don't know what the. I have no idea what you just said, but. Because uh, that. That's all right. Thing fell down. But I got to Let's keep see. This. On to our next topic here Lake Mills. This is our last topic. We're just going to talk about uh, the Lake Mills volleyball and football teams here quick. Uh, Chris actually texted. Uh, Bill Burns and Jim Beamer. Bill Burns is the head football coach at Lake Mills. Jim Beamer is the head volleyball coach. And he got quotes from them, you know, kind of little 
a preview from their point of view, considering we don't necessarily know a ton about them yet because they yeah. played a game. With, like, it's, 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 kind of, it's kind of sad because, like, you're how many years removed from high school? 11. I'm 6, 2015, and you're 4. four. Guys, it's coming to an end, like... Or and obviously, five. you guys still know the kids because you've been around, but yeah. like, but it, it's getting it's to crazy. a point where you don't know as many. It's yeah. crazy to think. Like, it's a different era at this point. So, Chris, uh, you want to read off your Bill quote that yep. you got from him? Bill, so Burns. Bill Burns, the head football coach at Lake Mills. Um, he said, obviously, we lost a tremendous amount of talent and experience. We do have some people to build around with Caden Obley, Bennett Berger, A.J. Raymaker, um, Seth and Wyatt. We will need several younger first-time varsity players to step up in a hurry this season. Our approach is to build and teach what we do on both sides of the ball and make sure we coach all the details of this team. We feel if we can be a great detail-oriented team, we can put out a competitive team every Friday. On offense, running the flex bone is about making the right reads and being where you are supposed to be. You don't have to be the biggest or strongest, but you have, but you have better be where you need to be. Defensively, many new faces. Run to the ball and be disciplined. Um, and they also have a very tough district. He pointed mm. out with what West Hancock, St. Ansgar, Newman. Yep. Um, I think there's another team in there, but I cannot remember. I think so too. I can't remember. Yeah. It, it, if you guys didn't watch or fans of Lake Mills last year, obviously a very one upper class oriented, history. one of the best teams in school history. Won the first playoff. Maybe game. the best player in school history. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, it's they had it'll still be fun to watch. last year, and they lost three of them, right? Because they lost Elijah, Casey, Caleb, and then they get Caden Obley back. And also, Dang. Brady Hansen won't be able to play. Correct. He had the surgery. Shoulder? Did he have surgery? He should have had surgery by okay. now. Okay. Yep. Can, can I just That's say tough. though, like absolute, and I know the least about the um, Lake Mills football team currently, but like from my understanding, like I just hats off to the coach, the coaching um, staff for implementing this flex bone offense. Because in my opinion, it is so tough to stop multiple reads in high school football, and obviously they've had a ton of success with it. What did you uh, when you were in middle school with Coach Kurtz? Because Coach Kurtz is the OC. He brought in the flex bone. He kind of runs that whole side of the ball. Um, what did, did you guys run flex bone? In he, I don't school? think he called it flex bone. Yeah, it was triple option. Like I would. But was there? I thought you guys just had a regular fullback and a running back. Yeah, so they maybe have it was a different. They have wings, so it's they have so it's fullback. probably like just a triple option out of the power. Out eye. of the power eye. But yeah. like there was, I mean, there was a time. I mean. We were so good in eighth grade because I would – basically, Kurtz taught us, like, hold the ball the whole way through to Andrew as a fullback dive, mm-hmm. and I would pull it out, and then an option with Josh. This and, is like, Chubby Matt running there, Yeah, this option. is mini Dante Culpepper. This is mini Dante, Dante, Dante Culpepper. Culpepper. But, like, guys, there was one time where I – like, it was such a good fake. Everyone went to the pile with Andrew, and I'm running to the end zone, and they call the play dead. And, of course, Josh is to the right of me because he's the, the pitch man. He is begging me to pitch him the ball because he wants I to score the touchdown. And I'm like, no, Josh, you're not scoring the touchdown. You're going to score all the touchdowns for the future. You scored so many in high school. It was my time to shine. And, and so, But the play got called dead anyway. Yeah, I'm called, yeah so it's an invert whistle. So anyway, whistle. what they've done with this triple option, I mean, I haven't seen a ton of footage from it. I've seen enough um, through, like, Kurtz's uh, Instagram and stuff – or Twitter, Twitter and stuff. Mm-hmm. But, like, it seems like a very tough offense to stop. It yeah. very t- gives the defense so many – things to think about it's a lot of moving parts yeah it really is. gotta have smart kids playing you gotta have everybody's gotta do their job and do it well so that yeah. uh i guess we can transfer or transition into the volleyball side for lake mills yep uh, usually a very very good volleyball program uh jim beamer has created an absolute dynasty anything he coaches teams. talking about does really well. talk talking about, about dynasties. dynasties lake mills volleyball i would love to hear a number like in the last 15 years how many games the volleyball team has lost or how many yeah games that's a call them, right yeah or about win percentage oh, matches i, I want to know what it Being takes win to, percentage would be nuts like what do you have to do differently to build like because high school is kind of like college where it's like a farm system like you got your own what does Start it take to build a dynasty like that playing year like, round get the yeah. girls to buy in yep. and also it's to the point where all these girls they don't want to be they don't want to be the letdown they yeah. have, there's a culture from year to year that, hey, we don't want to be the one, we don't want to be the grade that ruins this. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of just built up over all these years, and it's yep. great for all the girls that are involved. No, hundred percent. Yeah. Um, Coach Beamer said we are focused on process goals right now. We need to focus on the process so the success criteria we set later can happen. 
We got back to the final 16 teams in the state last year, but in my work, to listen in or eavesdrop on the girls' conversation, I can tell you that the state tournament is a conversation they are having. I always tell them that this is their team and their season, and it is certainly not mine. So what they want is up to them, but the responsibility to work for that is also their responsibility. And if you guys don't know Jim, being in his class, just knowing him as an AD and a teacher, the way he words things is awesome. Mm -hmm. How he motivates, um, you can even hear it in there, what the – the success criteria. Yeah, never would have yeah. put those two words together with a team. Like, yeah, and I see going into the gym like when we go play open gym when it's volleyball season in practice. They have all the posters up, all their motivational things, all the goals. Like it's super cool to watch. Mm -hmm. And I love Jim Beamer adds in at the end there, uh, basically talking about it's their team. That's we've talked about this on the pod before. The difference between a really good team and a great team. It has to become a player-led team. It can't yeah. just be relied on the coach. That's what we always talked about at college. Let's roll and Finley always want us to take that step to, I can only do so much. You guys got to take the reins. Yep. And it sounds like the team right now is doing that. I think uh, so. It's a great it's, step. Hopefully, I don't remember, is Brooke Burgo? I've asked her many times. Is she back for volleyball? I would assume so, but I don't know. Uh, they have I tall so. athletic girls, Elastini. Yeah. Very Ellie tall. Hannah. Did lose their best player, Kylie. Yeah, um, but I remember most really everybody good. else should be back. Yep, Crazy. it should be exciting time for both yeah. fall it's, sports. It's been a very like I, again. You guys have been closer to the ground with Game by Thrones and commentating stuff, but it's been a, it seems to have been a very fun um, couple years. Yeah, like oh, most sports. It's, yes, it's had like, to have been a, almost. I mean, a golden era. I don't it know has to have been that, one of the most like, successful couple years. In Lake Mills history. Yep. Yeah. All sports factored exactly. in. Exactly. Both rest both winter boys teams go to state both years. Conference champs last year in baseball. Yep. Track the softball team got second in conference this year. Track could have had a shot at winning a title yep. two years ago, state title. Yep. Um, both track teams la this year sent sent teams. Multiple events boys down. golf. Boys golf made one state, conference one and then second at state. one conference in state this year. I forgot about boys golf. Yeah. Holy crap. Football. Football is the best team. Volleyball is very memory. good. Yeah, insane. It, it it's been fun. Yep. Hopefully that just continues to drive younger kids that go and watch mm -hmm. uh, to keep that up. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So before we wrap it up, we have the guess that player correct answer. Oh, do we want to give the correct answer on if, here though? If, oh, that's true. That's true. It. That's true. Yeah. I was gonna say yeah. that. Sorry, sorry, sorry. No, yeah. I was I was looking Fine. at here and I was gonna say yeah. We should probably say it, but then. We don't know who truly yeah. gets it right. That's true. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, we're not giving the answer. Never mind. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, so uh, I think we had a really good, we're at hour, over an hour and a half. That was and really and we'll, uh, we'll make sure Zach goes through and timestamps everything so you guys can see the see the headings. I, I, I wrote some notes down, so you'll be all right. I don't know you'll be fine. That. You'll be fine. Okay, uh, yeah, so thank you guys for listening to this episode. This is episode 12, but episode one of A New Era, let us, Game by Thrones. Yeah, let us know what, like... Maybe something we didn't cover that you want to yeah. hear. Now, I know when like football gets going on, we can cover more things in depth, but uh, maybe ideas you have on different things. Um, um, other podcasts, sports-wise, you listen to yeah. that have cool segments. In the future, I'd like to uh, do like a couple check-ins with Caleb Bacon during the football yep. season. Hey, how's it going? As being and a that can even shirt. just be on the phone. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And then yep. um, uh, we could also get like a Bennett Burger on, the Lake Mills QB, tell us about how their games are going. Yep. Um, with volleyball, we could get Brooke Burgo on, or maybe Beamer himself. Mm -hmm. Just a little quick Once five the seasons are actually in. Yep. Exactly. Yep. So yep. yeah, uh, absolutely. Thanks for listening, guys. This has been Game by Thrones with our new added member Matt Throne. Uh, thank you guys for listening. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, <laughs> and share it. And share it if you enjoyed. That's since how we're going to get a lot of different content. Yep. Get some more viewers, some more um, listeners. Yeah. Uh, it should be good. Our, our goal is to make this you know, full-time at some point, whether yeah. it's months, years. We want to do this. Whatever it takes. Have yep. multiple podcasts for different sports, everything. That's what our vision is. So, so we excited. appreciate you guys listening. So uh, thank you guys. We'll see you.